Hey guys, Sklar Brothers here with Dan Van Kirk, and Hi, we've everybody. got Matt Walsh from Veep. He's from Veep. A, he is on Dumb People Town this week, and the riffing is fantastic. Uh, tune in, check it out, enjoy it. If you've ever asked yourself, how much Taco Bell can I get for a blowjob? We answer that question. Or how much a blowjob will get you in Taco, Taco Bell? Bell oh, that's in Taco Bell, better. that's the yeah. answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well, you gotta have to. You're gonna have to tune in to find out. Yeah, on this week's dump. Surprising people. answer too, by the way. Very yes. surprising. Very surprising. Also, Christiana Amanpour. Kidding. She's not on the show. Hi, it's Dan Harmon. If you're like me, you're a big fan of Harmon Town, the podcast, uh, and you wish that you didn't have to wait uh, so long for it to drop after we record it. But here's the thing, Jeff Spencer, take it. You do not have to wait. You can. You can not only hear it right after it happens. You can watch it, too, in delicious, deluxe, high-definition multicam on your browser or your mobile phone. We do edit some stuff out sometimes. Like, I'll say something so incredibly racist uh, that we will catch it right before it drops as a podcast. Uh, but or, you get to watch Dan right before the sedition hearing when he talks shit about Trump again. Right. right. Uh, sometimes and, we have really famous guests, but we just cut it out of the podcast entirely. Because it turns out they're pedophiles. Sometimes Spencer's never wearing a shirt <laughs> most of the time we put that in in post not to mention all the times you always hear people laughing at something that doesn't sound funny because someone is making a funny face or wearing a funny shirt yeah for five bucks you get to watch all that stuff we, you, you can see the weirdos sitting down like getting nervous on camera there's, they go, there's like one camera that's just right up someone's nose and they're always picking their nose and stuff like that that's good as if that wasn't enough here's some political incentive um we will match your new subscription to the harmontown live feed uh up until april 15th the day of the big tax march, um, we'll match it with a donation to the ACLU. Which stands for a clue, which is what you should get. And I know, I know, you're, I know that's triggering your thought of going, doesn't the ACLU now have $800 million? Because, uh, uh, but here's the thing. ACLU money is like toilet paper money. Uh, it never expires. But if political encouragement weren't enough, some apolitical encouragement is if you sign up, you get access to a year and a half of our back catalog of video episodes, including a tour in Australia and Harmon Country, as well as audio downloads on the night of the record, on just minutes after it airs. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times have you been listening to Harmon Town for free after Wednesday and thought, I would really want to know what that guy looks like or what she looks like? Or I want to see exactly how uncomfortable the audience is when Adam Goldberg is on stage. Mm -hmm. Now, for $5 a month, you get to see it as well as hear it. You can almost taste the Harmontown. Go to harmontown.com slash live for your subscription to watch us as well as hear us. It really, really is a taste treat. <laughs> <laughs> Dan gave me little 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 eyebrows. I like I, like, I was like, holy shit, that guy just hit the bullseye. <laughs> Everything is a taste treat. Feral audio. Hey guys, Sklar Brothers here with Dan Van Kirk, and Hi, we've everybody. got Matt Walsh from Veep. He's from Veep. A, he is on Dumb People Town this week, and the riffing is fantastic. Uh, tune in, check it out, enjoy it. If We're, you've ever asked yourself, how much Taco Bell can I get for a blowjob? We answer that question. Or how much a blowjob will get you in Taco, Taco Bell. Bell oh, that's in Taco Bell, better. that's the yeah. answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well you gotta have to, you're going to have to tune in to find out Yeah. on this week's Dump Surprising people. answer, too, by the way. Very yes. surprising. Very surprising. Also, Christiana Amanpour. Kidding. She's not on the show. Hi, it's Dan Harmon. If you're like me, you're a big fan of Harmontown, the podcast, uh, and you wish that you didn't have to wait uh, so long for it to drop after we record it. But here's the thing. Jeff Spencer, take it. You do not have to wait. You can, you can not only hear it right after it happens, you can watch it, too, in delicious, deluxe, high-definition multicam on your browser or your mobile phone. We do edit some stuff out sometimes. Like, I'll say something so incredibly racist uh, that we will catch it right before it drops as a podcast. Uh, but or, you get to watch Dan right before the sedition hearing when he talks shit about Trump again. Right. Uh, sometimes and, we have really famous guests, but we just cut it out of the podcast entirely. Because it turns out they're pedophiles. Sometimes Spencer's never wearing a shirt most of the time 
<laughs> we put that in in post. Not to mention all the times you always hear people laughing at something that doesn't sound funny because someone is making a funny face or wearing a funny shirt. Yeah, for five bucks, you get to watch all that stuff. You, you can see the weirdos sitting down, like getting nervous on camera. There's, there's like one camera that's just right up someone's nose and they're always picking their nose and stuff like that. That's good. As if that wasn't enough, here's some political incentive. Um, we will match your new subscription to the Harmontown live feed uh, up until April 15th. The day of the big tax march um, will match it with a donation to the ACLU, which stands for a clue, which is what you should get. And I know, I know, you're, I know that's triggering your thought of going, doesn't the ACLU now have eight hundred million dollars? Because, uh, but here's the thing, ACLU money is like toilet paper money; uh, it never expires. But if political encouragement weren't enough, some apolitical encouragement is: if you sign up, you get access to a year and a half of our back catalog of video episodes, including a tour in Australia and Harmon Country, as well as audio downloads on the night of the record. On just minutes after it airs. <laughs> whoa, 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 what am I just gonna die? Am I gonna turn into a skeleton? And then there's gonna be the yeah. You know, we talked uh, on Mother's Day about the family and what are our obligations to family. Yeah. And, and boy, I love getting those tweets when you guys like want to flaunt your normality. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's always good. Just fire off a tweet to a stranger if you listen to their podcast and just tell them how their family works. It's a <laughs> like, like that's not a stupid thing to do. That's that's not gonna trigger anyone. Uh, uh, it's your family's probably identical to anyone in the world, right? Probably. Especially if you heard them on a podcast. That, yeah, well, that no, seals yeah. the deal. I mean, my family is identical. Hey, Dan, can I just ask you a point of order? Um, Spencer, belly poke, overshirt or undershirt? Oh, for you? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Did well, you poke I, him? O- over- I pulled my shirt up. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, I wanted to yeah. ask. I mean, because honestly, I feel like as a woman in Hollywood, it's really important to be treated you know, the same way as anybody else, and so right. just if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Equality. Like... <laughs> but we're not all created equal. That's like, that. He, he, you know, it, it's a thing. It's a belly thing. My finger uh, is bruised on the... <laughs> On what I assume is a re- like washboard. Like, oh yeah, it's a real washboard under there. That's not a, f- a flat lesbian superhero like like tra- like like trampoline. Is that what it looks like on out on the outside of my clothes when well, you no, look at me? No, that's what I felt like. I was like I was like oh man. Oh yeah. It's Power. You're, like a, you're like a Barbie doll. Like like like. like. <laughs> Uh, it's just like, like it's like solid plastic, but not in an artificial yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah, 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 no. That you're a um, woman of substance, but your body right. uh, is obviously lithe, and she's gay, and I'm I'm no, not, this is I'm making, not married. I'm not married. This is making me feel so good. Like, yeah. I, please don't feel like you have to stop. <laughs> if I felt great about my body, I wouldn't be a stand-up comic. <laughs> Uh, it's obnoxious uh, what I everything I do. Okay. Uh, well, I just thought it was super normal. Like I didn't even think, oh, this is a weird thing. So maybe we're like becoming even more normal through each other. Yeah, like we're leveling up. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> I think. Like, uh, okay, I'm just looking for. I don't know what to talk about first. Uh, just give me a second. Don't act like a... Don't, you're not entitled to anything. Yes, you are. Ten dollars worth of... <laughs> so sorry. I didn't mean to lash out at you. You also drove through heavy traffic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. And I'm going to do better than that. You, uh, uh, I acknowledge my crime. I express remorse, and I'll do something to change it. Okay, that that was generic, but but you get the idea. Uh, oh, well, we're, the finish we're, line. We were walking here out of... Uh, right, Pikey. all of us. No. Uh, myself, uh, my lover, Cody, and uh, my uh, squire, uh, uh, Steve Levy. And, uh, and we walked past. There was a guy standing in the doorway. And I don't know what the, what the PC... If so, we used to just, like five years ago, we'd just go, homeless. You know, you go, it's a homeless guy. And we kind of all go, yeah. And then we start to think, like, well, wait, how many... What if he has a home, but he's just like, he's... he's what do you say, Dirty. He was a person of dirt. It was a filth American. I think you should keep going. <laughs> Just keep grabbing at yeah, straws. It feels like you're going in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will definitely hit a yeah. perfect sensitive so spot. Be, uh-huh. Yeah, that's, yeah. How, that's how sensitivity <laughs> works. Just... <laughs> 
<laughs> just throw throw shit against the wall. That's not how racism starts. Yeah. Uh, what is he, a peanut, a bean? A <laughs> I mean, I think we should talk about whether or not this person deserved it. You know what I mean? Just get right to that. I would definitely say no because I, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rebel. Uh, like I, I don't, th- I think our economic system is uh, is flawed. I think I'm overpaid for what I do. I'm sure he's underpaid for lurking in the doorway. <laughs> I would, I would give him at least a dollar more an hour to do that than I'm, and take it away from the, you know, the sure. job of complaining about networks. Uh, I like this. This is kind of nice because you're the, you're the Bernie, I'm the Hillary. Oh. <laughs> Are you st- I, 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 we have- not like about Not about people that live on the street, but just about every other issue. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I agree with you on that. But. Can I be Trump? <laughs> okay. I think, I think Trump's... Success is due to the idea that we can all be Trump. <laughs> right, it, right. It has so little to do with acquiring anything and so much to do with letting go right. of so much that has burdened us. Yeah. I uh, hate just, stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's like, what if I just, what if I just, what if I, what if my brain was a rocket in its final stage and, uh, and all of the thrusters fell away, leaving only the lizard cortex? <laughs> Just, 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 just like, I'm a winner, you're a loser. Um, you just hit the moon and blow it up and sell the chunks to yourself and then lie about how much you did and, and just fucking like, that, that guy's amazing. He's, uh, okay, so we were walking and we walked past a lurker in a doorway, a Skeksy. Uh, and uh, Dark Crystal, look it up. And so, and he, and, and, and he, uh, like just as we got like it was like this is like this is a normal sight there's a person in the doorway there's a, that's not there's no threat nothing's going to happen and then right as my ear was in his mouth he he made this sound and i wrote it down i spelled it uh p l o u m p he went oh, like right as i went, I went plump <laughs> and i she scared the shit out of me I, I jumped and I like like a cat seeing a pickle. Look it up YouTube. Cat, cats think. Have you seen the cat pickle videos? Cucumber. I don't, I don't, right? I don't know anything about or, these. Or cucum- cucumbers. Yeah, but yeah. I bet a pickle would work for a smaller cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the oh, cat, no. cats think that. Uh, wait, what do they think it is? That cats. A snake. Um, cats. Th- I, well, that's the theory. We, 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 I'd like to think we don't. There's know. a couple theories. Cat cats like there's a, just a million YouTube montages of people. If you put a cucumber out of the line of sight of a cat Find when it. the cat sees the cucumber it freaks the fuck out it like it leaps 10 feet in the air and, and it's like because it thinks i guess it thinks it's a snake yeah i mean i get the, i grew up in chicago so i understand that reaction to raw vegetables hey a <laughs> lot of meat in that area not for me you're suspicious <laughs> You're suspicious of the, of the regular what? <laughs> what so, so the guy went plop, and uh, and I freaked out. But when I looked at him, he wasn't looking at me. Which and I was marveling at it. Once we were a tasteful block away, I'm not going to talk shit about the uh, uh, you know as I walk through King's Landing. I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about the lowborn like in front of them. I wait until we're uh, near the uh, red red keep or whatever it's called, and I, and then I said. Uh, uh, what was that all about? That guy scared the living piss out of me. Uh, and then he wasn't looking at me, so he wasn't doing it for my benefit. It's just kind of weird. And then, and then uh, Steve Levy said, isn't it possible he had schizophrenia? Beat, beat, beat. And I was like, yeah, great. That, what the fuck? Fuck you. <laughs> okay, tur- okay, okay, great. Yes, of course it's possible. Yes, it's very likely. I, I, like, yeah, but but like under that be- umbrella, what was his motivation? I, 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 like, like, and then Cody said, my girlfriend said, I think he might have been signaling the other guy because there was another guy coming up the sidewalk and they did have some kind of rapport. I have nowhere to go with the story, but it's just like two, like that's the opposite of schizophrenia. That's like velociraptor signaling. Like, like, like <laughs> that, 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 the idea that, that, that that's like high functioning like shit. And the other theory is that the guy thought I was a dragon or, or I'm not making fun. I am making fun of mental illness. I'm making, I'm generating fun out of it. I'm not trivializing the pain one endures when one is mentally ill. Uh, it's bizarre to move to Los Angeles and see, you know, because it's beautiful outside, and so you don't have to seek services. 
Uh, again, I'm from Chicago. You so could there's theoretically a certain, live. You could live. I'm from Milwaukee. Outdoor for a very long time, and so people don't seek services. Also, LA is really shitty at providing this stuff. Uh, this is why at Harmontown we are working hard to turn that around. Um, right, Dan? <laughs> One of your major. Certainly, all proceeds f- uh, from Nerd Melt tonight are probably going to the homeless. Yeah, I'm sure of it. I uh, talked to them about that. They said yes. <laughs> But it's it's intense because it's definitely I yeah it sounds like sounds like maybe you figured out what had happened there, you know like sometimes you see some well sometimes you, you see a did. well sometimes you see a person on the street and you and you want to say to yourself what happened here because right. I'm not a super amazing person I'm just a regular guy I got cool jackets but I'm just a regular guy <laughs> how did I get so lucky to live this life and then my motivation to say nonsense words at a lo- at a loud volume. I'm able to suppress. Right. And so then it's like, well, right. congratulations to me. Right. And then, yeah, and then I look, imagine me. I mean, you seem like a more tactful person in general than me. I, Obviously. I'm, I'm one step closer to that guy because I actually have a reputation for saying things out loud that you're not supposed to say at the wrong time. So like, I'm one step, I definitely And you've got that go, beard going on. I no, mean, there's no, no, a yeah. lot of stuff. I, 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 it's, I always go like there, but for the grace of God, like, like it's just like it's a drop of this and a, and a, and a pinch of that. And it's like, it's, and also within the context of our society. So that's even more tragic because it's like, I think about when people have like oppositional defiant disorder, it's like, Oh, geez, what a prick. That guy doesn't know how to work at a Kinko's. Uh, but it's like 500 years ago, which is a, it's no time at all in terms of humanity. Like, I'm sure oppositional defiant disorder was like made you like the captain of, of the Kingsmen. You know, World's the, best like, knight. Yeah. Yes. Like, like, like you were probably, it was probably like really paid to have like a hugely like dramatic personality. And now we're just like, I feel bad for anybody who's like, who's like, who, yeah, who, who, who has no choice but to be like, blarf. Right. Uh, Their shit doesn't fit into our shit. It, yeah. Maybe our shit's the problem. Also, you know what else uh, for folks that might even be here or folks that, that are uh, able to deal with their stuff through like, you know, maybe medication, other stuff like that. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Yeah, we that never celebrate it. has happened. We, never, we don't celebrate that enough. You we don't should, talk uh, about people that are functional. When you they walk, get their next shit. time you walk past a crazy person on the street, take the time to say, yay, I'm sane. <laughs> and, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then say to them, I'm sorry you're crazy. <laughs> it'll, it'll make everything better. Uh... Okay, so you ever uh, were you ever in a, a, a bar or a restaurant, uh, and uh, you brought you got brought like a drink, and it looked kind of tasty, and you were like kind of surprised, and then the waiter was like, "Oh shit, I'm sorry," and like took it to a different table. Yeah, for sure. What'd yeah. you get? That happened. I was I was in New York, and I uh, 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 I was I, like like I I was I was with somebody, and that happened, and then and then we were joking about the fact that that actually what if that was a cool thing that that if you're super rich. Like, like that was a delicacy where you, when you order your drink, you're like, like, like I'll have the usual Smithers, and he goes like, ah, uh, Manhattan, uh, straight up, uh, a pinch of lime, uh, briefly brought to the wrong table, then taken away, <laughs> right away, sir. And that every time that's happening to you, there's just like some cool ass dude that's made it to that level and is, is paying five hundred and eighty dollars for their drink. <laughs> And it's not. It's not about like like. It's it's just like they're 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 convinced that they can just taste a hint of your disappointment. <laughs> it's that's the vermouth. Like, like like like. If that's a service, they should combine that with somebody making enough eye contact with you that you think they're saying hi to you, but then they're saying hi to somebody behind you. They brought that shit together. If you could bottle yeah. that, you get a drink for a second. They that's wave a- to you. Oh my god. Who who are you? I'm I, trying to place you. Thanks for getting me at the airport, stranger. Oh, them. How, ma- how many times has that happened to you versus how many times have you perceivably accidentally done that to somebody? Because I feel like I've never done that to anybody, but I'm constantly getting milked. <laughs> no, I, I, like... like well, there is another thing that's happening more and more, and I don't know how... I mean, obviously, you're recognizable from this, but I will say, you know, my face is something that I sell for my business and you, you sell your television show I sell this face she makes um, uh, 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 organic, masks organic. to be worn by Kim Bassinger in the original Batman as you know but my point is um, I never saw oh, that fuck you uh, fuck you that's very funny now, what I just now said. that cannot be ignored um, <laughs> no so something I will do very frequently is like 
somebody looks at me, I kind of assume something is going on. The best, of, the best example of this, Dan, if I may, is that when we first moved to Los Angeles, went to the dog park with my wife, Rhea, who you know, and I said to Rhea, oh, that woman over there recognizes me. <laughs> and then Rhea said, no, that is Sarah Paulson. You recognize her. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's all right. I'm 50 years too young for her anyway. Uh, Okay. All right. New topic. Moving on. I think we're doing great. We're killing it. You're killing it. No, you are. I, I think I think it's you. Oh. Dan, I think this is a nice pairing. I feel honored. Spencer, you're doing great. No, I think it's her. I think it's her. <laughs> All right. So here's a half-baked thought. I don't think I've talked about this up here before, but I, my brain is Swiss cheese, and every day is an adventure. Uh, someone just stop me. Really, really stop me if, if, if like, I talked about this three weeks ago. Should somebody stop Because I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> really? I feel like... I feel like, okay, so, like, ugly people. Uh, <laughs> no, this, is, this sounds new. This sounds new. Oh, I should have. I, I had a chance there. I should have. I, like, I feel like race in America. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I feel like, uh, look, so, ugly people and attractive people are, should be better friends. Be, and I don't know if they'd outnumber everyone who's neither ugly nor attractive, but I'm curious about that because I know for sure that the clothing industry, the concept of fashion, was neither developed nor is uh, uh, depended upon by uh, the ugly or the attractive. Because as we all know, attractive people can wear anything. And, and not, to, not to cross any boundaries, but what reminded me of this is uh, your wife uh, uh, wa- walked into the green room wearing a, uh, like a baseball oh, jersey. Oh, looked amazing. She's and, wearing like, a baseball, baseball uniform. Pants, and like, the, the, the socks pulled up to uh, halfway up the calf, and she had a baseball cap on and stuff. But just, she's Rhea Butcher, so it was like, yeah, well, come out and show them. <laughs> Look at this. Rhea, pull your shirt down in the back. Pull your shirt down in the back. Thanks. You're welcome. Aw. Okay. You see this? It's because so she came from a baseball game. Oh. Right. Well, so, but I thought, but because I was, I was like, no, I was like, oh, it's like Andrew McCarthy wearing bowling shoes in mannequin. Like, it's like, it's like I, I, that could have easily just been a fashion choice. Absolutely. Because, because an attractive person can wear anything, and then everyone would just be like, oh, I, should I be wearing that? So can an ugly person. I wear whatever the fuck I want, and everyone's like, okay, well, I, I'm assuming he w- got lost somewhere and confused. <laughs> so so I, I have no beef with attractive people, and nor they with me. We don't have to fight about fashion and rules of clothing and color coordination or shape or anything like that. It's these medium people. These people for whom the slightest variation in a shirt or pant can make all the difference in this war where the, where the oh god it's a game of yards and inches their tyranny we suffer from and I have a feeling there's way more ugly and attractive people than there are these who are these mythical fucking schlub nubs these 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 m- mug dwarfs what do they call them in 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 in, in, in Harry 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 Potterson don't you feel like there's also there's a these mickle yeah, mickle, mickle it's, nicks it's yeah that's what it is uh it's uh, it's McNuggets. You think it's McNuggets? Okay. By the way. Oh shit! God damn it! <laughs> Not to get off on a tangent. No, but like two nights ago, I was about to go to sleep. Then the last thought I had before I went to sleep, and I did tweet this, but this is the first time I've ever said it out loud. Besides Saria, but last night the last thought I had for as my eyes were closing, I sat right up in bed and I said. <gasps> Chicken nuggets are chicken nougat. <laughs> Think about that. Do you know like nougat texture? Have you ever seen a nugget get made? A chicken nugget is chicken nougat. That is the most, that's amazing. That a human brain can come up with that. Anyway, I don't mean to like toot my own horn, but Jesus. <laughs> Sidebar, but my point is. 
I just got, I just... Dude, but like chicken nuggets are chicken nougat. I, Do you know what I'm saying though, I know, Dan? I got distracted by something. I, you made me, I remembered something tangentially related. Was it chicken nuggets or chicken nougat? No, it's, I, I just remembered, because you're, you're talking about talking, and you're, I, 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 I attacked my girlfriend physically in my sleep. I'm sorry that happened to her. How'd that happen? Uh, I was having a dream that a, in the dream, a, a man who looked like my brother and who, but who was Jeff Davis. Because <laughs> I had the voice of Jeff Davis but the face of my brother. In, I, all I, I remember that about the dream is that they were just antagonizing me and they just kept antagonizing me and they were like threatening me and like like they just they just did they were doing everything they could they're, they're like like and I the dream culminated in me going that's it I'm gonna solve this problem the 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 the, the, the you know the way the way my archetype uh, I guess in their cortex like and I and I woke up to Cody going like baby baby whoa and I was like hitting her face. <laughs> No, luckily there wasn't a one-to-one -one analog to like what I was doing in the dream in which I was like He-Man. I don't know if they chalked that up to just bad, I'm just not fit, or I would hope that it's like no matter how hard you try to kill someone, like in your, but she, uh, I, I, I just felt, I, I just, you were mentioning the. How did I, I she just, respond? Is she okay? It, Is everything it doesn't right? even make any sense how she responded. She was like, she was like, baby, baby, you're sleeping, wake up. And I was like, Oh, and then I was, I was like, oh, God, oh, God. I'm She's like, it's fine, it's fine. Well, like, that, makes, that makes tons of sense. That makes tons of sense. I am terrified of everything. I can't watch scary movies. My, I have a lifelong fear of the dark. I sleep with the lights on, and, like, a lot <laughs> as an adult now um, when I'm out of town. Rhea is a sleepwalker, and she will wake up in the middle of the night. She'll sit in, up in bed and go, no, no! All right, let, let's, let's, let's bring out Rhea Butcher, bed. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. Actually, I should have waited until. But what I, well, but what can, I go you, there? If you <laughs> sit, then it means that I get to sit, and yeah. uh, I'm so fat. But I want to have. I want to have a theory. Let's talk about the re this for one second. But I do want to address what you said because you know what else, Dan? Hey, this is my thought on this. Um, I think really attractive, really unattractive. I think that's a that's an overlapper. That's a zipper. Oh, that's, you're back to that because you, you fucking ejector seated from that shit. I, I was, know. I was but talking I mean, about that. And you're like McNuggets. Other. I'm I was, sorry. I was like, fine. I mean, but. I agree that that's also important. What I said about chicken nuggets or chicken nougat, but I do think that I think uh, human faces have like elicit a reaction from us. You that stu there's a stupid meme that's been everywhere that's like Angelina Jolie and Steve Buscemi at the same age and it's like what in the world they look exactly the same. <laughs> have people seen this? No. They look exactly the same. They have the same face. Hi Rhea. Is it Hi. true is it true you're a uh, psychopath in your sleep? Yes, 100% true. Do you wa you walk? Well, I get up. I don't know. Because I, I talk the talk in sure, my sleep. Yeah. I mean I I talk a lot in my sleep and then I I also get up and then I sort of do this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, for non-subscribers, uh, yeah. no matter how attractive the person, <laughs> not you, not a position you want to find them in. You cannot make sleepwalking look good. The, I don't the, the care how hot activity. you are. You're always gonna be like. <laughs> like standing over your wife? I did that once. I started tucking. No. She's tucking me into bed. <laughs> The worst. Pretty bad. Uh, and you and you're like you're awake and going like thank you. <laughs> it's me. Everything must be tucked. <laughs> Untucked things must be tucked or die. I'm tucked. Thank you. Your job is done. Back to sleepy time. <laughs> but it is like full on screaming. No, no, yeah. no! Then yeah. right back to bed. Then, then our d oh oh no. <laughs> then we have an ensuite bathroom that had a short. Yeah, that's and right. Ensuite mm -hmm. is what you just said. Yeah, what 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 was I, oh, that? Almost drifted away. I yeah. I I, I, I guess I went to my low where I was like uh, uh, straight guilt. I was like it's lesbian talk. <laughs> it's lesbian talk. <laughs> 
on, on, on sweet means like, like they, they respect that. you as an yes, equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full of dildos. That's what it means. <laughs> Wall dildo of deodorant, dildo you, toothbrush. It's when you walk in there and you go, ah, oh, sweet. That's why it's called. It's just, just a, a bunch of chapstick on. and, and yeah. Subaru uh, <laughs> owner's manuals. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You got it. I'm, try, I'm trying to. That's what I brush my no, teeth you got with. Just a Subaru manual. <laughs> I, I'm right up to date on my lesbian yeah, cliches. Yeah. I, I, I swear I looked it up just decades ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, oh, wait, oh, that means a bathroom that's connected to your bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, so en suite. Wait, wait. You, I still you walk to... through it to get to another room. It just so no, it just means it's connected to your bedroom, so okay. you can see. All right, your property brothers, whatever. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Jonathan so that, Silver That's Scott. the only reason I use that word is because it's you can see it from our bed. Right. And for a while there was a short in our light switch, and in the middle of the night it would turn on. The lights would turn on. And there was no one in there. So imagine, like, you wake up, your wife is like, No! No! Goes back to bed, lights go on. (laughs) Pretty terrifying. (laughs) But not for me. I was asleep the whole time. So Then our little eight-pound dog gets up, starts like... (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Yep. Dogs know what's up. I know! What dogs can see ghosts like for yeah, sure. For sure. I was, I was, I, I had a girlfriend uh, in my 20s. I was visiting my parents and I was in bed with her and I thought I was awake and I thought I rolled over in my wakefulness and thought that I recognized that there was a gray alien in bed with me <laughs> just mocking me and going like, Ugh! and, I, and I, I did what you would do. I, I, I went like, and like, 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 pushed the alien away. Cause, cause if a gray alien climbs into bed yeah. with you and pulls the covers over itself and like sure. waits for you to roll over, waits it out. Um, it's probably if you start to push it away, you'll have the element of surprise. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I it's not gonna expect you to do that. That weird gray alien is like, oh no, my plan. I had no foil. idea he would react like a monkey would. Oh, pushing. No. <laughs> retreat, retreat, call off the global strike. They know they, how to flail. They push. I, I, I covered most of my body with the quilt. Uh, we, we'll have no success in this invasion. Signed, Marco uh, Polonio. Meet, mop, moop. He's like the, uh, anyways, uh, advanced guy. Well, I, just, I guess that's the end of the story. I'm just no. like alarmed that I'm capable of, of yeah. let's face it, violence in sure. my sleep uh, that will affect uh, my lover. I was yeah. very, very disconcerting to me. I also recently woke up because I haven't been walking around, but I have been waking myself up. Usually, like I'll fall asleep at 11 and then I wake up an hour later and I go <gasps> every night. So I sleep well is what I'm saying. <laughs> And the other night, I fell asleep, and then an hour later, I had a dream wherein I was being shot. Like, point blank, like this close. Somebody had a gun shot. and shot me in the gut, and I went, Ooh! and I can't even make the noise again because I actually made the noise that I would make if I was shot. And it was, because I woke up and was like, oh my God, that's what it'd be like to be shot. And that's the sound I'm gonna make? <laughs> Damn it. No, I didn't think I could fear getting shot more than... Aww. Now when the bullet's coming, I'm going to be like, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> yeah. uh, Look at how tough I am. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought maybe I would be one of those people that just stands there with a blank face while their guts like spray Bring out the wall behind them. Because maybe it'd be the one thing you could count on me to do is just be so lazy and unalert that I get shot and I look like John Wayne. Like, <laughs> Because I'm like I didn't know what I, yeah okay uh, the uh, uh, I talk in my sleep apparently mm-hmm. like like constantly Cody mm-hmm. is charmed by it and records it here's some more things about Cody I, again uh, apparently if you hit her in the face mm-hmm. uh, and and, you, and you, well, while she's sleeping she will wake up say stop hitting me you're asleep and then and and when you are mortified she'll go it's okay and go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas I for instance I had a girlfriend once who apparently had a I, I awoke to a girlfriend smashing me in the face with her open palm because she was dreaming that I had a centipede on my face. Oh, Christ. 
how her augmented dream reality included the real topography of my real face. And she's like, but I, I mean, what am I talking about? How am I, who am I to talk? Why was I in bed with an alien at my parents' house in Florida? Uh, but she, but I, I, I don't remember being magnanimous. It's yeah. like, like, I believe I looked at it as an opportunity to be outraged, waking up to being smashed in the face. Yeah. I didn't, it never occurred to me that it was an opportunity to be... <laughs> forgiving or cool at all. I was more like, shopping spree! Uh, I get to be like, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's just, yeah, fucking what fuck, man? It's just like, you go to bed with someone and, you know, it's like a social contract. It's like you fucking, you know, you, I give you my heart. A centipede dream? That's what you think of me? I, I don't. I don't know if I did all of that, but I feel like that's what you got I did. Got some of that in. That's nice. So that's I'm with nice. a girlfriend who, 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 who yeah, it's like it, 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 there's a there's a there's a. I, well, I'm not going to spiral into sure. self-deprecation, but but she's a better person than me, and I don't deserve her. And 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 and, and, uh, and, and she has recordings of me. Oh, she's also charmed my 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 my, my gibberish sleep talk, because I just I just say. I don't even use parts of speech. I just mm -hmm. say, like, it's hard to do an impression of it because I'm just like... Like speaking in tongues. Yeah, I just, I just I call it, like, like octopus, rainbow, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, 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 it's, like, there's no verbs or nouns. Yeah, like, they're yeah. just used... I'm gonna go take it to the thing and then we go and even say we'll say right. that. That's how, what I usually say, which is just, like, music to all of your ears, I'm sure. <laughs> uh -huh. Yo, but for real, none of that comes out of your mouth. Do you know that? I know. You don't really say that shit. Then what do I say? No! Okay. <laughs> no! 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 I, I used to say no! more. I used to say more than no because I was a child and I didn't understand the world yet. Now I'm an adult and I'm just like no. <laughs> hey, that explains so much. Halfway to death right now. No. Hey, Cody, if you're listening, you don't have. It's, it's, it won't pay off, so you don't. You don't have to do this. But if if, if you have the if you have the. Uh, uh, audio file, that video file that you took of me talking to my sleep in uh, Palm Springs and you texted to me, I'll be able to access it fast. <sighs> wow. If you've just tuned in, this it's is a great show. Harmontown. <laughs> behind the scenes. Okay. All right. Well, I'll give you guys a choice of what we talk about next. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 okay. We talked about Plump. <laughs> talked about the ordering the drink thing. I thought I really shined there. That really landed. It's like, did I make a mistake giving up stand up? That was great. <laughs> Uh, we can talk about Beyonce, Ooh. Kanye. Oh, oh my! Wait, what? <laughs> Big I we, otters. I think we got a full stop on Beyonce. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just okay. mean, you know, we can also. Oh, did you say otters? <laughs> but we can we can do both. We can get to it. But Beyonce is a bigger. And we can otter. talk about we can talk about Beyonce and otters so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so much to say about those two topics. <laughs> but. Yo, best way to see Beyonce surrounded by otters for real. <laughs> like when you watch this, what is this lemonade? Is that her? The, the, is it, like I, I have, I have a lot of forty-three-year-old uh, uh, questions about what's <laughs> no, happening. I, what is this lemonade? Does she like to drink it? I don't right. understand. What's going on? So she, so, so she, so she. She she she's struggling with the with the feelings of 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 of, of the, the 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 adultery concept and, mm -hmm. and but 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 the the crazy thing is that it's through his label but is he is he producing it is he like behind a board when she's like producing those songs and going like okay uh, baby uh, let let's take that again when you hit when you hit the the phrase like uh, I I I can smell her perfume on your dick uh, uh, <laughs> like 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 just really lean into it like remember how much it hurts yeah. <laughs> When because say, I don't want another shitty album out of you. When you say boy bye, I want you to also be dividing our bank accounts. Um, <laughs> you know what? I don't care. That's what I've decided about that question. But do I'm you know, tell you why. I, I don't I, I know. I actually and think he was the producer on those tracks because I read all the track listings uh -huh. and Carter was not one of the names on it. Mm. Knowles, however, was a name. Oh, every single song on Lemonade. Shit. By the way! <laughs> every single song. Yeah. Oh, well, because what I was going to say is, I think, uh, you know what, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me whether or not it's real, or whether or not it happened, or whether or not it's him, or whether or not she wrote those songs. There was like a huge, when, when Lemonade first came out, everybody was like, yay! And then there was weird, <laughs> oh, sad white guy apart. backlash, where sad white guys go like, 
while for a minute we talked about another thing right. than me. You know? Right. <laughs> and then there was a lot of like she didn't. You know, and and what I it's amazing. We went to see her at the Rose Bowl. Yes, we two did. weekends ago. Wait, so so just to get back, so there there's a sort of that seems like just sort of general internet erosion, like 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 yeah, and I'll, I'll definitely uh, as a spokesman for fat white straight guys that are that are outside, that I'll I'll speak. To, I, I I bet we're very represented in that swarm uh, <laughs> uh, 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 that, that of people that are like, oh, this thing that was amazing that really just grabbed us, and we all and we all, and, and then there's this sort of like weird erosion. That so I, I just I'm curious about the specifics of that. Like people people are going like, she. Doesn't really believe in this. Is that like they're just sort of questioning the sure. magic of it? That's well, like, like that, and also like, did it happen? When? How uh, much uh, was uh, it? Uh, Where were the hotels? Well, who can't I want to see the semen. You know, like everybody gets. Oh, but like, she's but she's not singing about. Is, I mean, for my object now, I'm now I'm now I'm Beyonce explaining to. to <laughs> Uh, I'm Beyonce dance playing uh, to Beyonce, but it's, uh, I mean, I'm assuming she's not singing about a Columbo plot. She's not no, going no, no, like, no, no, "Here's no. my, here's she's my talking, evidence." And... She's talking about her. Yeah, she's That's talking about the feeling. Saying. Yeah, uh, she's talking about what's going on for her. That's what I heard. The five minutes I and heard of it, while my people. girlfriend was watching on her phone, I heard it was like, "Oh, she's coping with the mm-hmm. feelings." Yeah, like like which are largely, uh, it especially doesn't matter whether they're true or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's yeah. like empowerment songs, and so in order to make empowerment songs, you have to be wronged, and so like she's setting up the idea that she was wronged. Yeah. Also, she's a black woman, so like yo, straight up, she's been wronged. Like, what's the, for what's real? Like, there's been some times where she has been wronged. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that about black people. Is there is and there... women <laughs> and a black woman? Black women. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Just speaking as a white woman, just trying to tell you guys what it's like to be a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> because I may be a lesbian, but I'm still white. Right. And there's yep. certain That's duties right. that are incumbent upon me. Yes. <laughs> just when you thought I had perspective, damn this no, lack of, of melanin. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so that was us talking about Beyonce. Now I'd great. like to talk about Kanye. Oh, great. Let's hear it. Okay, so stop booking him on your talk shows just so he can talk crazy and then marveling at him talking crazy. I've been over this. He has seven number one albums. Uh, we've given him permission to be crazy. You know he's crazy. It's like if you invite Gary Busey on your thing, except it's better because Gary Busey doesn't have seven number one albums. And it's like, I, 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 it's like, I, 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 I honestly, I can't, I can't, I, can't, I, I, I don't want, to, I, I don't want, I don't, like, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm in this guy's corner no matter what he does until he hits somebody. You know, like, I, I, it's like he, he hasn't pooped or peed or hit uh, anybody. Yeah. Hit, like, like, he's a, and he just keep, all he does is, like, like I read the, the transcripts. I was like, he was on Ellen, and, oh, he kept talking, and, boy, he's crazy. It was like, well, what did you think? What do you tell you? What's that, what did you? Well, Kanye's going to come out, and so let's put him in our sane segment. And, uh, and then, so he'll just give us the weather, right? Uh, and, and he'll be totally out accurate we won't have to check that no you're like parading him out yeah. and then a- asking him anything kanye toast toast makes me think of picasso picasso makes me think of me me is a genius einstein's a genius but nobody can feel this i can't feel this when i wore a shirt to jacket i went to school that's a fucking like i just that's all about what you do it's about the rhymes you put on your pants and then you put on your shoes stephen hawking can do it i can do it van gogh can do it who are these people they're dead now that's why i feel that black lives matter or whatever he's like <laughs> And, 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 it's just, and, and everyone's like, 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 oh, he ranted or he's crazy. I just like, uh, I just wanted Isn't to say. Isn't it also amazing? He needs my support, and I'm on his team. Hey. I can't get through a single one of his number one albums, Thank but you. I love his personality. There, thanks I'm for done. that. Isn't it interesting that he and Beyonce are having this moment at the same time? They're having like parallel moments, but I think she is very indicative of like the female experience in 2016. I think he's a little bit indicative of the male experience because. His the most interesting thing he can do right now is like completely melt down. Right. Is have so much power and be like, oh, it's too much, and I am crushed. And then Beyonce's like, you want to see crushed? Look at these thighs. I will sit on you. You know, like right. women have to be like in charge of their brand, and they're like, fuck you, boys. Also, look at all this. Can't touch it. Get away. Come here. You know, like, it's <laughs> so serious. It's Hillary and Bernie. I'm fucking telling you, dude's hair is crazy. Oh, we're Ladies like accurate. Are in power. Suits. This is where we are, man. 2016, man. <laughs> Cameron Esposito's meltdown on Harmontown will leave you speechless. You won't believe what she said. 
Also, what are those articles? It's like, what are you, you're typing about a thing that happened on fucking TV? TV's already on the internet. I fucking hate all of you. It's like, oh, here's a person that's one of the eight interesting people left in the world because his craziness hasn't fit down the drain yet. Like, like, like oh, I'm Picasso. I love, I love, I love uh, Aqua, Aqua, Aqua Fresh. Oh. I used to... What? Picasso? Aqua Fresh? Get a room. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Click, 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 click. You're crazy. You're the crazy person. You're a drone. Did he really say he liked Aqua Fresh? No. Damn. I won't, I won't, I don't, I don't even I was listen about to this to be stuff. Like, I just I'm see like... I'm into Kanye now. <laughs> I like Aqua Fresh. <laughs> But also, uh, like, shout out to Ellen for having, like, multiple video scandals in the last couple months and just, like, staying relevant. What you else did I mean? she have? What was her Well, name? just, like, people are yelling about weird, like, Hillary was on the show, she was dancing, and everybody was like, that's oh. not the right, that's cultural appropriation. Did she, like, wear like, the dab perhaps, or something like that? But also, like, I love, like, way to stay relevant, Ellen. Way to, <laughs> way to fucking get in there and fight, man. <laughs> just keeping your shit going with weird, vibe. I mean, cause weird think, animated like, gifs. Yeah, because well, I just wasn't her like, show on every day. It would be weird if she didn't have relevant people on. Like it's like. Yeah. Well, but she's also like old school talk show. You know what I mean? Like James Corden is like, this is a full functioning dance club and airplane inside of a taxi cab, <laughs> <laughs> and we are also doing two minutes. And everybody that gets in this will be the most famous person you've ever seen. We're doing karaoke where they sing each other's songs, <laughs> and that one's just like, oh, I'm just gonna dance. <laughs> well, she must be doing something right. She's been on the air for a million. Yeah, uh, I've yeah, yeah, never yeah. seen it. Uh, she, 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 she seems to be having a wonderful time. Do you know and, what's uh, weird? I've I've seen the show. Can you believe that? <laughs> I, do, I, do you know Tig Notaro? Because uh, we were no. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I know Tig. Hey, you know what, Dan? Good one. <laughs> Uh, all right. I've been waiting for like six years to do that. <laughs> Very happy about it. Uh, all right. Peak TV, Cookie Tapper 2, Simon and Garfunkel, uh, uh, Big Otters. Uh, oh, let's. Uh, let, 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 I, 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 I told the director of Great Minds uh, uh, to come on the show tonight. Let's bring out uh, Heath Cullen. <laughs> no, you sit there. There he is. Oh, oh. You brought your own bullet. Can I, can I your, get a cup? your name stuck oh, in yeah. my throat. I thought for a second there in my drunkenness, I was like, Cullen. It's, you, there's an S, right? K S. Yeah. S. Okay. Yeah, but you didn't call me Keith, so we're okay. Who decides that? Do you think last names at a, at a certain point were all singular? And then, and then, uh, they, ours they, was. The, it was then just they a couple of generations ago that we added the S. <sighs> So All your right. theory is one for one, as far as <laughs> I've I'm ruined the show. So sorry, also about all those vampire books. Oh. I'm sure that was rough for a while. It was hard. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard. I, oh, sorry, guys. Spoiler. Do you not follow vampire books? <laughs> is that is that They're a, vampires? There Edward Cullen. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's Cullen singular. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's from a while ago. Like, oh, he's a vampire. He's been around for like a long time. <laughs> They immigrated a long They're time moral. ago. Yeah. All right, here's our segment where we talk about otters. Yeah. Oh, shit. So there's, uh, there's these otters in the... Uh, Let's just show the audience the video. We can't. There's no well, we got it. your phone. It's huge. Just, a, just you pass, pass your phone. Around. Don't, don't old shame me. Uh, the, the, it, 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 there's these otters, I think, in the Amazon, right? Amazon, yeah. Amazonian, <laughs> Amazonian river otters. Amazon Prime otters? <laughs> no millennial. It's a river. Uh, uh, not of, of savings. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> when's the last time you've seen the sun? She has dirt from a baseball diamond on her. Um, the, uh, uh, these otters, they're, uh, they call them river wolves. Uh, that's right. Do Terrifying. They? But but really, that's kind of I shouldn't have said that because it's more interesting to think that okay, there's these otters, but they hunt caiman. You know what caiman are? Fucking alligator and bomb. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 oh like, no, I just thought you forgot how to talk about the guys with the very long brow. They lived a while ago. No, those are cave, cavemen. No. Cavemen. Cave, cavemen. 
<laughs> yeah. No, K, yeah. Just like these are uh, like like pe- don't make the mistake of thinking of Cayman as a baby tiny alligator. Mm. They come as big as alligators. Yeah, almost. No, no. They're big enough to be size. scary. They're like five feet, right? That's what. Are five you? Feet. Yeah, like. But if you see that in front of you, you're not going to be like, oh, that's just five feet of a gator. <laughs> you're like, that's a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> I'd probably, I'm not going to attack it. No, I'd probably start biting at it. <laughs> and like you're an, an otter. otter. Great, yeah. <laughs> These otters, they travel in packs, and they, and they, because uh, they're not rodents. No, they're not. Okay. How do you know they so much about hands. otters? <laughs> well, we were talking about them today. Aquarium on the visit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Were you? Did you tell me that locusts are just grasshoppers, or is that someone else? God, no! I would never make oh, that mistake. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm no ichthyologist, but everybody knows that. Come on, you're not a fish scientist. I'm because I'm not that either. No. Oh. Uh, so, but there's a video you could just watch like five uh, otters uh, eat a caiman. They hunt alligator. And they look cute as shit alligator. doing it. That's it. That's all. I just imagine them with like headbands on and like little like Check. archery. Yeah, like Check. a bow and arrow that Check. they made out of like a pencil or mm-hmm. something. Yep. Paper clip, rubber band. Well, yeah, Brian exactly. Jakes has taught us that otters use slings. Well, that someone will get that. I don't know if they're here, but someone will get Somebody that. Somebody got it. Um, I think Rhea did make a great point of order, though, before we move on to the next topic, which is that otters have tiny hands. Uh, we swam with otters a couple years yeah. ago uh-huh. in San Diego, and it's weird because they're little, but they've got full hands. Like, just imagine like, a full hand. Just imagine they have five a, fingers. Just yeah, imagine a dog it, walking up to you, and hands. then that dog goes like, "Hi." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Full you're like, hand. Oh my god! Oh my with god! Little, with little oh. nails. And when they want it, they're, they're like, oh, they're going to maybe swim inside your bathing suit. It's adorable. But then they have little, then they get in there. And you're like, oh, my God. Oh, dear God. Hands. Like, they could go like this. And they could go yeah. like, 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 like that. Yeah. It's opposable. I, yeah. And I mean, honestly, as a woman, like, hands in a bathing suit, no problem that, like, I'm a lesbian. It doesn't matter. Keep wait, going. wait. I, I, I'm sorry. Back up and what? <laughs> Only because I'm, t- I'm getting so much pleasure because usually I am the person who's awkwardly saying half the thought out things about lesbians. I was making a hands or dicks joke, but I didn't get there. <laughs> uh, I always thought I always thought if I was going to be an animal, I'd be an otter. Mm-hmm. Like that would be like because they swim in there. When I seen them in Wisconsin, they. They float on their back, mm-hmm. and their bellies stick out of the water, and they eat like uh, seafood off of their belly. <laughs> yeah, they just get a nice surf and turf, and then they're just like, <laughs> and, uh, and it just seems like it seems like the life. Like when I get in a pool, I kind of that's what I end up doing. Like I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not one of these people that plays. Let's splash each other, mm-hmm. or That'll you get it. on my shoulders, or let's bash our heads on concrete, mm-hmm. or let's bounce up and down on a slippery fucking spring-loaded mm-hmm. piece of weirdly textured sun bleached fiberglass <laughs> that may or may not at any moment uh, have a different relationship with our weight and result in a fucking neck breakage that would be yeah. the most ironic way to die after all you've spent writing <laughs> otherwise known as diving <laughs> the people that jump I, I can't but you you probably do it no don't I don't it's terrifying I jump into a swim. can't swim yeah Rhea really can't you swim. can't swim no 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 I mean I can survive in a pool most people don't have to survive in a pool. <laughs> Most people, when they go on vacation, they're like, this is so great. When I'm in a pool, I'm like, this is so great. <laughs> I look like an otter. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome, though. Yeah, I mean, I thought I could swim, and then we went on vacation, and I was in the pool, and Cameron was not, and then she walked up to the pool, I got out of the water, and Cameron went, oh, honey. Wait, what do you... You can't swim. Oh, because she had well, just, just having observed everything yeah, you'd done me. in yeah. the pool. She was like, oh, I can swim totally no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then was like... <laughs> yeah. I, you, you, I just like... I took a couple solo lap in the pool by myself. That was a joke because I took one lap because I can't swim. Is it because... Because uh, I, I was a late bloomer swimmer mm-hmm. uh, and it was because I didn't I never learned to have my face in the yes. water. Is that what you're Me doing? Yep. So you're dog paddling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frantically. I'm surviving. Because, the, yep. because the, the reason everyone else can swim is because they learn that it's okay to have your face in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not... Yeah. When, if I put my face in the water, water goes up my nose, yes. which is called dying. Yep. It's called... <laughs> 
called drowning. It is a goal to avoid that. So to if me, I'm, and that, so you're like, yeah. you keep you're, your head <laughs> out of the water. Yeah, and that's called dog paddling. Yeah, yeah, it's called yeah. survival. All and, right. Uh, to me, a swimming pool is like being in outer space. Same thing. <laughs> just like being in outer space without a space suit on, where I'm just like. Aah! Yeah, well, it's like, you know, there's a lot of ways to exercise, but almost all of them you have complete access to air. Yes. And swimming's the only one where you have to pick when you get air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have that's to plan why it's that so out. badass. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, was, I that's my I was a swimmer in high school. Do you guys oh, want to, Hey, what was your um what was your special what what did you specialize in? Oh, Ria, are you asking what was my specialty? I'm asking what was your specialty? Breaststroke. Perfect. <laughs> This is, this is from your uh, 1970s lesbian sketch show. <laughs> the, 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 two, the two woman Rowan and Martin's laughing. Yeah. What kind of dog do you have? Ginger. Does ginger bite? No. Ginger snaps uh, and pussy. I don't, know. I don't have any. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to say I have no lesbian jokes in my chamber. I, 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 the, to me, they look like jokes about beams of light. And I, I look at them, I go, why is that funny? Why is the, why do, what did one beam of light say to the other? And I forget them. Uh, okay, so, okay, we're talking Wait, about we're that. Wait, about these otters, oh. though. They, the thing is, when they don't just murder crocodiles, when they do it, in a process that takes what did it say an hour? No, 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 like four yeah. to five. No. Four to five. It was oh. a long multiple yeah. hours. They wage they sit war. on their stomachs and eat them alive. Yeah, and they make sounds that sound like what? No, they Hanna scream. Barbera, they like make Justin Barbera. Roiland goat sounds. <laughs> like yeah. the whole time they're like, <laughs> yeah. it's like really. The this whole is time. like this is That's like spot bone on. hours. That is spot on. This yeah. is like bone tomahawk all over again. <laughs> Wait, they sit the on two them. people that they, saw they that movie. Eat them. Was funny. While they're sitting they, on them. There's a group of them. They get together. They, they distract it. They get a hold of its tail. They're it big. goes after, and then all of a sudden, like, four of them are on its back, spin it over, dinosaur belly up. That's disgusting. Just, oh, it's bad. Yeah. It's bad news. It's not a, it's not a joking matter. <laughs> if you're a caiman. I mean, I... <laughs> I had uh, like eight, twelve. All the Caymans in the audience up. are going to, to follow up. To <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say a bunch of them get on the other one's belly. Interesting. <laughs> and then they just keep eating. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I said to myself, <laughs> my point is, <laughs> Dan, that's terrifying. I'm sorry to know about it. Uh, I thought for a second you were going to be like, Dan, that's terrifying. I'm sorry you wake up hitting your girlfriend. I'm like, what is with you? <laughs> You are, are you on a space, uh, on a, there's like a delay? No, uh, that would mischaracterize you. You're very on point. It's just uh, it's a call back to the delay from earlier. Okay. <laughs> Much better than Jeff, I think. I, no, no, don't pick sides. Just, just, just stay in your, uh, 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 stay in your, stay in your stalls. All right, just, let's have a moment of awkward silence. <laughs> it was my idea. Uh, let's welcome a guest of, of mine that's here tonight because uh, they're uh, visiting from out of town and they're uh, they're staying at my place, which uh, 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 was always promised to them. And I, I they, we should I want to make sure that they have a key. Uh, uh, Harmontown Jane is here. Jane, come on, come on. Are you? Are you you're looking surprised. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean. I'm not gonna you be like to three days from now. I'm gonna make you come up to stage. Hi, Jane. <laughs> Fucking keep up, man. Uh, Jane, how are you? I'm I'm doing good. I flew in uh, flew in about four hours, six hours ago, six hours ago. Have some... you been to my place yet? I've been to your place. I'm checked in. My I key have, was uh, under the mat. Do your you... key was under the mat, you dear man. Thank you so much. Do you have my key? I have it on my yeah. I do. Okay. Do you want it back? No, I just <laughs> ever. <laughs> I just I. I just want to take a moment and solidify my reputation with the trans community. There we go. <laughs> just, just, just to repeat, I, you have the key to my home in your pocket. Moving on. <laughs> I give and I give. Hey, uh, Dan, are you guys going to use the same bathroom and it's not a fucking big deal? I, I have a bathroom that's on yeah, suite. No, they're separate room. bathrooms. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and someone walks up to it and starts to drink it, it's your duty as a human being, actually as a person who values the human race and who hopes that we survive to see a better day and colonize various planets and outlive giraffes, let's fucking things. <laughs> oh, I'm a horse. Uh, I should have a longer neck. Don't let them win. <laughs> Do you want to live in a world where that's how you win? <laughs> we're getting close, man. As of Trump, we're like a close, like, 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 like just the, the drop off between us and giraffes got a little less steep. <laughs> Because uh, I bet the smartest giraffe is like, 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 we, like if you really had the option of voting for them. Anyways. Uh, I want to thank you for that. I don't know if you know, my son and I actually put together a compilation of every time that you said, said giraffe in the first 150 episodes of Harmontown. And it is six minutes long. And it is on YouTube. And I encourage you to find it because it's fucking hilarious. It's because in biology, that's the first thing we learn when they're teaching us about Darwinism. They, they use the obvious example of the giraffe. I it, think you've talked about giraffes more than you've talked about race on this show. <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? We're talking about necks of different lengths. Um, why am I looking at this? What was this? your point? <laughs> just hiding <laughs> you know uh, certitude I think, I, I think one thing that i just want to point out is that number mm. one dan cheers love this uh advocacy and i think it's awesome i Don't also patronize think, me no no go fuck yourself you're about to follow that up with a butt you're like you're, you're like you well, fucking I, fat I piece it, of shit no i think it exists um i think what's confusing about right now is that that is a great way to think it's maybe the best way to think. And then it also exists in the same time when being a minority group means that you have to really fight for space. And so that is what's happening right now that's very confusing. Because to be in a minority group, you have to be very certain about who you are in order to just have some boundaries up around yourself. And that, I think, is why it's so scary to exist right now and be in a minority group is because, like, I, I don't believe that there is certainty in the world. I mean, th this, this is such a, I joke about my haircut in like this very surface level, but when I got this haircut, it was like the first time that I felt like I really understood what was going on with me because it really is like absies and that felt great and uh, it continues to feel great and whoopsie daisy, this haircut's gonna last for like, it's just a real problem at this point. Can't get rid of it <laughs> going out. It's a, like asymmetrical haircuts are a thing of the past. Everybody's got a blunt bob. Fucking sorry about it. Um, how much of it? Okay, just to interject, not to derail. Yeah. How much of that? When you talk about that, like, like uh, any move you made with your hair, how much of it is inside and how much of it is outside? Like, like the the, the as far as like, oh, if I if I got a all short, it would cause a shit story. How much of that is in? I don't know that we can decide. Right, right. I guess right, right. that's what I'm saying is that like because you're a this performer, still indicates, you're... but not just that. It's not the performer thing. It's like this indicates something to the world about who I see myself and then this indicates something to the world. And so I think like that's the time that we're living in. We're living in this time where like you have to carve out who you are and be really specific about what you're saying. Right. But we also are fluid people and we are complicated and our world is complicated and we shouldn't have to defend one thing forever for the rest of our lives. So right. it's, we're in a weird moment right now. Yeah, you're, in the, you're in this point where you have, this, you have your, sort of your personal culture, you have your self-identity but you have to exist within the contents, context of a society. And society is about boundaries. Society is about comfort. It's about, it's about opportunities, but it's also about uh, boundary conditions. And I can't just say to, to the, the topic du jour, what bathroom I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. I can't go in and just immediately demand that there's either a third option hey, or Hey, don't use mine. That's all I'm options. saying after I've been in there. <laughs> I just, I just, I've got it's, my it's, own suite. I'm cool. I have to do, have to do a punchline every 30 seconds. Yeah, I no, I, no, I've got a trans bathroom. It's good. Okay, back it's to what you're saying. <laughs> but, but to your point, Karen, I mean, it, it's really, it is unsafe. It's very scary. It's scary for me. It's scary for, for, for me as a parent, for my son. It's fair, I mean, it's fair for my other son who is straight and cis, but is a strong advocate for his little brother and for his, for his father. 
Yeah, I've thought, well, I would I would imagine. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna start babbling and hope that somewhere along the line I'll be adding instead of just babbling. But uh, it's, it seems it seems to be that the American dream is moving from it's like like we had a definition for it and we're just slowly moving into this place of genuine like egalitarian kind of like I don't know it's like 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 a sort of pragmatic view of what the original framers of that concept. Um, said but weren't actually thinking and it's like we're trying to create a honeycomb where within each perfect hexagonal fucking comb uh, be, be, which represents your right to not be mugged, beaten, terrorized, threatened, uh, uh, shouted down, resp- blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, the, the, so, but, but within that perfect honeycomb that exists in this ginormous uh, hive that we do rely on and fear being excommunicated gave, gave from that from Foster Brooks, um, <laughs> that within that we, we have to start thinking Thinking of ourselves as as like a gelatinous, like organic ooze, and 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 stop bothering to go. Well, I happen to live in this hexagonal compartment. Uh, that's actually perfect because, as it turns out, I'm hexagonal. <laughs> It's like no, you're a you're you're as much humanity as can be poured into uh, that little cell, and 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 like you're liquid. And if you were to, for instance, meet a partner that you and you wanted to merge with them, you could eliminate a wall. And that's where the metaphor starts to break down. But it's like that that we kind of like exist within there. And it's like we want to desperately kind of we all want to live in this world where it's just like oh shit, can we we well, like what if what if the conversations we had had anything to do do had, 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 were on the next level that weren't about like what does your hair feel like and is that weird like, how, how's the weather up there <laughs> I, I tell you like, like, like uh, oh, Peter Dinklage are you a great actor or are you just the greatest actor of that height like 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 just fasci- <laughs> just just fascination with each other's bodies and their cheekbones and pigmentation and private parts and behavior in the bedroom and when we fart and how we fart and how we describe a fart and and how we do it and whether or not a one syllable word for a Japanese Japanese person is more or less offensive than a multi-syllabic crazy chain of syllables uh, that ultimately mean I'm just saying this so I don't get in trouble. Uh, it's like, wait, we're just, we're just, we're just terrified and fascinated with all these surface things. But I, I we're, we all want to be liquid. We want to be, but we don't believe it's possible because we're afraid we'll. I think we're afraid we'll, we'll. We'll run together, and we'll we'll mm-hmm. we'll we'll stop being. We'll be Skynet, like right. we're, and and, and the computer will be like, oh, I was gonna do that, but fuck it. <laughs> like Skynet will be like, oh shit, I was gearing up to nuke you guys, but you just uh, 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 evolved to the point where nobody, uh, no nothing was funny because you were all hanging out. <laughs> Well, that's talking- what we're. Afraid, that's, what, that's what I think. That's the white, oh, yeah. the white straight rage. Like that. That's that's where our our fear. I think oh, I'll speak for them and say I think the fear is our toys are going to get taken away and everything that was special is going to stop being special and everything that was like. And I, I I think it would be a mistake to look at that simply <laughs> as one privileged group happens to have that. I think I think anyone would have that in the state of privilege. What the fuck is going on? It's my show. No, we're riveted. Not, we're, we're... No more lesbians. No more trans people. Can I can I ask you a question about the retreats? Uh, I control this show. Can... I'm trying to talk about how I'm an advocate. Dan, you Dan... people are fucking it up. No, I think I think what you're talking about is uh... talking about how I'm a good, smart person. You're wonderful. Thank I you think so. what you're Tumblr's to- wrong about me. <laughs> I think what you're talking about is the very real feeling of when you have 100% of the things and then you lose some of that stuff and then that becomes a real feeling of loss. It feels like an amputation because you used to have 100% of the things. And I think what I'm talking about is this brand new feeling of liberty that is happening. Yeah. It doesn't happen. It doesn't exist no, for that, everybody that, yet, but it's more now than it used to be. My lovely wife, we're moving tomorrow to a new apartment. And last yay. night she said to me in the second to last night in an apartment that we have lived in our first place in L.A., she said to me, uh, there's a way in which we're first-generation Americans. Um, And that's true, because we are the first generation that will have gotten married legally, um, like, young. You know, we got to get married legally young. So this is a weird fucking time to live, and I have nothing to write about in stand-up. 
It's so terrible. I was I, mean, well, I was trying to like there's a there's a, like I, was, I go to these stupid like branded entertainment conferences where we talk about like oh could Jeff Peanut Butter make Breaking Bad you know instead of Paramount and uh, and it's like the answer is no because uh, if a peanut butter company makes Breaking Bad and it fails which it will ninety percent of the time believe me this is connected give me a chance um, and let me pronounce chance like a French person um, the, uh, the, the 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 someone will get fired at the peanut butter company but on the other other side of it, writers have to overcome their addiction to just thinking that what you couldn't say 10 years ago now automatically qualifies as edgy, progressive and stuff. I am so guilty, like all of my friends, I like, like that's what we do, like we push buttons. Like, w- like in this new world where everybody actually does respect each other, part of the, f- I think the fear is among creatives, particularly comedic ones, I think there's like an unconscious fear of like, well, what's going to be funny if everybody gets along? <laughs> like, if nothing's wrong to, to say, not that not that we're all envisioning a future where no one's ever having conflict, but it's like it's more about like, oh, like you know what you never see in Roddenberry's original Star Trek series? They never go to a stand-up club. Like, like you see, you 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 you, you get a hint of how shitty music gets. <laughs> Because because Spock is the only musician on the Enterprise, uh, uh, and he plays a fucking like Rush instrument. Like he's like, mm, I love Rush and 3D chess. Um, you you do, but what you they never go to a comedy club. And like 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 what would what would Roddenberryan stand up be? The answer is it wouldn't. Obviously, it wouldn't have to do with Klingons drive like this and Romulans drive like that. <laughs> It, it, it would, it would, it would, it would be like, oh, there would be, there's like something funny. I think that's the big panic. I think that's the big. There's a big fundamental question in comedy, which is like, uh, are, are we just gonna pat ourselves on the back for not hating each other and and take a ten percent um, skim off the top of our pursuit of maximum comedy? The, I, the, I, I, the, the, like, 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 are we, are we gonna, are we gonna like step things down one gear for the sake of fashion and say? Oh, I'm I'm cool with everybody, and that's how you don't get booed off stage. In 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 exchange for that, ah, I'm not gonna make you clutch your sides. That's the that's the I think that's the underlying fear is that we would do that. But I, I think we've already done it. So Seinfeld is about how other people are idiots because they serve you bad airplane food, or they are like massage therapists, but they don't rub your body enough or whatever. She's a wrong shirts. rubber. Yeah. <laughs> She rubs you wrong. <laughs> and Louie and Marin, and uh, I would say this current experience we're having right here, uh, comedy is about how we are idiots now. It used to be about how other people are right. idiots. It's about how we are idiots. Um, and so that's one direction that it's going to go in that it already has gone in. And hey, I can think I'm an idiot for a while. So I'm trying to crack, I'm trying to crack that safe because my first like 15 years doing this job was just like, respect me, All right. please. And then thank God I'm still a woman. Right. <laughs> because yeah, I mean, give me a break. We got a yeah, fucking you're, minute. You got yeah. tenure. Yeah, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna die reaching. You uh, better believe it. <laughs> If history's any teacher, I mean, we'll we'll have an octopus president before I'll... Okay. At least that octopus is honest, you know? <laughs> I just, I just don't, uh, I just Says don't like trust it is. her. Says you know? it like it is. She's a woman. It's just like, what are you even talking about? I just hear, nah, 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 nah. I'm a Hillary supporter. That's yeah. a whole joke. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to make that clear. Is there? I, dare, dare I? Dare I? Dare I poke into this? Uh, or, or, or do you guys share that? Or, or are you we one do. of these wives that just votes? Uh, oh no, or, we're both super into Hillary Clinton. <laughs> the other night I was it's walking, unpopular. and I was like, "Man, I'm really glad we're like both into Hillary and both the same amount, because this would be very difficult if we weren't." <laughs> I, I, I find that uh, she's very inspiring because she has been committed to her job for such a long time and committed politician. And I also find uh, that it's like very convenient that she's the only politician that we call a liar all the time. I wonder what that is. Because it feels like all politicians are kind of sacks of shit. So why would she... Speci- I wonder if there's anything about her that would make people so mad. Because it's like she like has 
access to money, which is so weird for a politician to have like money around them. Cause it's like every other former president is just like living in poverty because they don't yeah, take yeah. any money for speaking engagements. <laughs> and it's really weird that she does. And I just feel like she's kind of like owned by a lot of people in a way that just nobody has ever been owned by anybody. Certainly not like George Washington. Certainly not like other presidents who actually owned other people. That happened for a fucking while. Those people are on our money. I wonder what's different about those dudes with ponytails on our money and this woman who doesn't have a ponytail. I wonder if there's anything that we can think of again. I, I, was, I, I, I fucking love it. I, uh, and I, and I want to. I'm gonna, uh, uh, for my own sake, set up road flares because I'm no, I'm not informed at all. I think it's awesome that you guys are like. Like I I I I I'm because it seems like a shoe in now. I think that the media is now engaged in the business of convincing us it's going to be a squeaker. But it seems to me that aside from people saying, well, no one could have predicted everything else that's happened, are the only people that are saying like, oh, uh, anything other than uh, Hillary winning. I hope I'm not uh, uh, putting my thumb in any political scale by predicting that that's just going to be the thing. It just seems like that's going to be the thing, and I, I've been kind of careful for different reasons in the past I've like I've, I've been just a jaded asshole and said politics don't matter because the bipartisan system is full of shit in the past this election I'm like specifically keeping my hands off out of social terror in a healthy way because I don't want to I, I sense that because to the extent that the office of the president is important it's like I don't want to get in an argument with anybody that would be that stoked about simply for the first time in all this time a woman uh, being behind that desk at any cost or anything. I also definitely don't want to be a person that waves that flag in the face of someone who's stoked that this uh, awesome fucking socialist crypt keeper is like fucking like <laughs> like like he's he's amazing too. He's like fucking he's kind of a he seems like a stand up guy and is like saying shit that a politician should say. I, I he seems like a fan of drones and so does she. And but they're politicians. I, 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 uh, but I, the one thing that I that did make me kind of like I was like oh wait okay. I can be, I can be, I can be into a Hillary uh, 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 thing. It was the fact that I, I just watching what's happened over the last five months is like, oh shit! All of this goes back to us voting for a black guy eight years ago. It's totally true. The Absolutely. bipartisan system is collapsing yeah, because I mean, we elected a black guy. <laughs> let's elect a woman and see what how much yeah. further we can take oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's the, it worse for women. <laughs> I don't know if you remember anything called Black Lives Matter, but. That was particularly tipped off by somebody named Barack Obama having some power, and so then everybody was like, "We're really mad at all these black people." So Republicans Sorry, got so mad that we elected that you guys a black don't guy. Know about? Like... What's happening? Where are? I we? mean, even the the Democrats are mad because if you think back to the 2008 primary in West Virginia, West Virginia went for Hillary Clinton in 2008, and then just in 2016, in 2016, Bernie Sanders. I'm out of my. So dad. what does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I do the fuck know. you're talking about. Well, here no, right, What like, does delegate uh, mean? I don't know. I, I, I start with the Nobody basics. Knows. What is a vote? How does that super, work? You know, I, super is, delegates. It's Dan, I, is Florida the one shaped like a like a shoe? I don't. No, it's shaped like a dick. dick. You should know yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I'm too yeah. focused on my own dick shaped dick. I understand. Dick. I, I, I'm like, why aren't you more Florida shaped? <laughs> Why do you look like a uh, fucking like Rhode Island? Uh, oh, there we're, okay, no. landed. Oh, because it's a small estate. You fucking uh, asshole. Uh, Massachusetts. I was actually Coast thinking line. of my actual dick shape. Take that home with you. I wasn't going with size for size. I was like, why are you like a fucking like like just a just a sliver of. Territory on a bloated, overfunded, oh, uh, hairy sweet. continent. You know, Dan, I just feel like it's important to say because I can tell how uncomfortable this audience is. Uh, that you know, I, I, I think that. Uh, all right. Well, how about this? Fiscal, the stuff you're saying about Bernie Sanders that, that he would change. Um, our financial si system in this country. Wait, when did I, I say that? I don't or you're saying that he's saying stuff that politicians should say about money. I no, dude. Okay, listen. That you said. All right. All right. Uh, so I thought like 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 let's uh, let's 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 really lay out an accurate landscape. I I know 
10 minutes worth of information about every single candidate in totality. Each or and combined. like most combined. of us, I know an unfortunate amount about Donald Trump because that's all we talk about and all we're fascinated with. And then I have these slivers of things that I kind of just pick up culturally from my friends. And I don't no, please don't make the mistake of thinking that I would. It's, uh, my, my objective this time around, I'm going to vote my conscience. And and there's no there's no reason for me to lie about it. I pro- well I, I, I well I'm gonna I I think it's gonna be a choice between the fucking Republican and Democrat. The Democrat's gonna be Hillary, right? I, I if that's the I case, know, it has I'll, pro- I'll, 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 I'll I'll vote for her. I'm not gonna enact some weird rebellion. Although I don't think anyone's a bad person for doing that. Uh, just to well, weave in our I, lesson, yeah. of uncertainty is the enemy. I think I think I think one of the big problems with 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 our system. I think the reason it's become the way it is is because we we've we're so successful as a nation that we we it, it voting is just sort of like this gravy it's not like it doesn't as much as we feel it's important or like like it's not the same as in a third world country where it's like oh one guy works for nike and the other guy <laughs> grew up down the street from me and oh you know, he got assassinated nike it is um <laughs> it, it, it's like like the the election is never the stakes aren't that high in an empire where it's just and so we've sophisticated the process and it's gotten to the point where we spend two years before the elections pre- treating the elections like a reality show including everyone talking about who you're going to vote for who you're going to vote for and a lot like praying like it kind of removes the the important part of, of, of what voting is when you're when you're kind of doing it publicly and thinking about it as a team versus a team and what's what inevitably happens is that oh well, it's always going to turn into two giant fucking blobs shouting at each other, and and the real victims are the people who would otherwise just go, "That's cool, but I, like, I feel this way," and like for those people, I feel the political tragedy in the United States is that those people are told invariably, uh, "What you're doing right now, whether it's not giving a shit." Or giving a shit about the wrong thing is equal to giving a shit about Donald Trump because <laughs> yeah. because if she was to yeah. delegate me, he takes Ontario, and then Ontario could take the cash That would be amazing. Yeah, I, mean, I think I think you're right about so much of what you're saying. I I just would say that I think as a I really people uh, as a woman it would mean so much to me to have a female president. And I also like her, I, I, but I, I also feel that it is very offensive uh, when people say that you cannot vote for someone because they're a woman. Because that doesn't make me a single issue voter because I'm a woman on every single issue. And I really think that right now we're living in a very scary time for women. Um, this last week, Oklahoma possibly making abortion a felony. Like, we will never be equal in a country where abortion rights can possibly be taken away. And there's so much at stake right now for women in terms of economic justice, in terms of reproductive justice. And we're living at, like, this real crossroads. And But you know for every action, there's an opposite reaction. If, if you're feeling that offense, the insinuation that the only reason you're voting is for this or that, ima- you can imagine the, the, the force you're pushing up against, which is somebody who's saying, Jesus Christ, I've never felt more shamed in my life for being a woman than the day that I decided to vote for somebody based on whether or not they were going to make it good. I was like, like, like that's that's why that's another reason why I feel like really, really loath to bring my weird Heisenbergian penis into the whole fucking thing because it just doesn't matter to me way more than it. It's, it's like it should matter more to. I don't even want to fucking get involved. I feel like a weird Tom Cruise character almost, coming into the fray. I'm something like explaining to someone no matter what I'm saying. That's a, that's a well, you know what. Cheers, then. I just, you know, if that's I, how you yeah, feel, yeah. then cool. I kind of feel like, like then well, you've no, achieved because, like, because uh, it should be important to you that a woman gets elected, and I don't want to. Like, I wouldn't want. It's like, like I could, I could. There, we're living in a time right now, and this is a great thing where two equally intelligent women could be standing in a bar uh, that I bu- and I could like them both equally, and they could they could be fucking like really mad at each other right now, like 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 they're and saying fucked up things, like in, insinuating that that they that they don't think about their vote the right way. And, and it's like, for me to come in and like, I just, I'm like, I'm not gonna make the situation better. And I, I'm just like, it's ultimately gonna come down to uh, Pepsi versus Coke. And I fucking, it's, it's you know, like, like I, I, I can take this one out. It's only four years. Uh, 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 I, 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 what I'm trying to say is that I recognize, I, I, I definitely don't, uh, don't mistake me for a person that's like, uh, don't mistake me for the kind of person you wouldn't like. Oh, I did it. 
there's a trans lady with a key to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I think don't uh, mistake me. And I respect me. your right to uh, vote for who you're going to vote for. I'm <laughs> Mr. Schmoo. <laughs> no, don't, don't mistake me for a person you wouldn't like is the rallying cry of the comic. <laughs> That's our whole thing. Are you laughing now at the things I'm saying? How about the tweets I'm saying out of my Twitter phone? But judge, Do that's my like honest position. I, that's the most honest I could get is like I honestly just want people to like me and I honestly don't care about health care right now or and I don't have a skin in the game of, of women's reproductive rights. I, 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 I can tell you where I stand if somebody asked me to fucking back up a I have very little team. skin in that game too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I but, mean... It's not like Rhea has. Never mind. <laughs> what? I was just gonna say like. Never mind. <laughs> the most honest position for me to take right now is to say like I don't. I'm fucking underinformed, and I just want people to like me, and I and I want my friends to not hate each other, mm -hmm. like, like especially my chick friends because they're all so cool. Well, you know, I would say that I can f sense the discomfort from the audience, and I would just I. Palpable. That, that is the thing that feels weird to me. Well, is that people are uncomfortable talking about this stuff because I actually think that's our boundary. Well, if we I, can't talk about how it feels to be on either side, then we're lost. Yeah, that's but, that's when people solidify their issues is when nobody can talk. When people have to resort to name calling. I love the conversation we're having, and I'm not again like. But the only cheers to whatever's happening for you and whatever emotional journey you're going on. I know you thought this was a comedy show. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, oh God, no, no, they no, did not suffer that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I, I really morality. feel like we should be muddling through this. Like this is stuff we should be talking about. We should be talking about the fact that. That, like we have had a black president for the first time and what did that mean and we should talk about the fact that this woman is running and what does that mean and we should be talking about all of these issues like conversation is what is what we need like that's the answer to everything that's I, the answer I, to being I, a human being I feel being. a need to say for the other side of that issue that well yeah but then there's the whole draw a wall between that and the per point of view like yeah but that's boring like it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like, 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 like that because what ha I, I would I'm going to project onto them a tremendous amount of whether they're Hillary or Bernie supporters <laughs> and, 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 and hats off to uh, Kyle Trumps, our, our Trump supporter uh, <laughs> in the back hey. uh, th this podcast is don't be huge. shy. It's huge. Um, the, the, You're uh, out there. The 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 um I I I project onto them a a a, a Dan Harmonish kind of like overriding thing of like yeah but if we start like if we if we really it's it's, it's like hard to escape that gravity of that thing where yeah I I honestly honest to God like 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 just in the like your passion for for Hillary as a candidate. There was like like everyone loves and res I, I I'm to speak for myself. I respect and love you. Love you. Weird. Um, we love each don't, other. Barely. Hey. I re <laughs> oh, fuck. I res I res I respect. You. I I I I want you to like me and I like you and I I I, I want to reward you for your honesty and encourage your. I'd never want to punish you or anything like that. So I'm I'm using that overriding principle. And when you. Like I, so I can sense that the like the Hillary thing, like there's shit on the line for you, and I can sense your joy and your glee, and part of what comes with that meal is just a little fucking chutney of like fucking spite, like like and 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 if I just focus on that and go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Did you just fucking imply that I don't fuck up with the book? It's like like, as a, it's like like I don't want. That's what to me what a political conversation kind of is. Is we like yeah, it's we the, all focus on Dan, each other's chutney. It's the gray alien in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> you but you you were gonna say that no matter what I said. Yeah. You had that locked and loaded. Was I? Uh, was I then? Hey Heath, do you enjoy directing Great Minds? Oh God, I I enjoy directing Great Minds. <laughs> More than I love sitting up here as a heteronormative cisgendered male hearing oh about that. Oh my God, live in that. Just no, I'll live in it and I'll say, pain. and I will say, I would happily vote for Elizabeth Warren. Oh no, <laughs> like seriously, but literally fuck worse yourself thing. on that. We don't even want to open that can of worms. No, I don't. You're yeah. exactly right. So I don't. And nor can I. Yeah. In this, in the, but I will say it has nothing to do with Hillary's gender that I 
don't oh my God. vote If for it didn't her. have no. anything to do with Hillary's gender, you wouldn't say Elizabeth Warren. No, so, no, I would. I'm normalizing that as uh, the variable. I have so much to read. I have and so much to read. Me. Anyway. Do you notice that Ray and I are both I'm gonna vote sweating? For I'm going to vote We're for We're sweating no, I know. so hard I know. all over you. Great minds. Great minds. And all of us. Tell us about this show. It's wonderful. <laughs> now... You're just uh, now. You're just. Where's the way I can sled the knife in? Like, where's the chink no, in the arm? No, I don't no. want to murder uh, you. No. <laughs> I would like to That's educate you. Metaphorically, metaphorically. And make you I'll my vote friend. for. Her. I'm gonna vote for. Her. I'm gonna vote for. Her. You're, Look you're, what I did. I changed uh, your mind. You did. You did. <laughs> With sadness and earnestness. Um, Look, we're all gonna vote for. Her. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have yeah, to. We're gonna have to. <laughs> but like, Happy? just just for a minute, taking yeah. a minute to just acknowledge the fact that I may be just shamed you into that? And like, oh, no, how no, that's no, beautiful sure. you did. too. You did. Congratulations. You know, like, as, yes. as a woman, that's it, so beautiful. It brought it back all the way. that power? I feel like I gotta... <sighs> yeah, I got you to... Uh, like, some stuff has been second lifted. Second I got yeah. you to open that button up. You're welcome. Yeah, as For a that. cisgender straight male. Um... <laughs> How much of that, uh... uh must and, be uh, nice just uh, walking into whatever bathroom you want. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I, I do want to know... I want to look back at your... Re- I'll talk about Great Minds in a second. Uh, but I do want to look at your retweets. Because the great irony of this whole thing on the quote of everybody should be nice and just talk about the issue is like you got a retweet by Rush Limbaugh and mm. Donald Trump and like these horrible people they're like yes we should be nice meanwhile they're popping bike it in and like screaming about well, shouting you, you, people you down you use the pronoun you and I don't know what, what, what do you no the uh, retweet I'm right. just, I just want to look at the list of oh. retweets you got on your well, retweet well I was kind of amazed it was like well I'll, I'm sure did, some of them I had two solid ones in 24 hours one I, was about a I, chorus line in the movie yeah. and uh, <laughs> I was present yeah. For your glee, but I just I think that I just mean the irony in a, among the Apatow or whoever retweeted the 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 progressive minded people you would expect to retweet. Let's uh, disagree about the thing at hand and be nice to each other while we do it. Also, total dick faces like Trump and Rush Limbaugh also retweeted it. Like, what? yeah, we should do that. Who? Well, me, wait, making... That's why I'm losing you. I don't. Uh, uh, the the tweet that I retweeted was a guy saying. Uh, he was, it was a correspondent, or whatever you call him, a pundit, just yes. saying like, oh, we've lost, yes, I go, okay, I see Right, what you're and saying. then you have we've an asshole who We've lost the capacity is... to entertain the humanity of a person that disagrees with us, that's me paraphrasing. Yes. Did, did you, are you being literal? Did Rush Limbaugh retweet? No, no? I'm saying oh, okay. I would be interested to look at who retweeted your oh, okay, thing. okay, okay, I'm, and I'm say, all oh, caught and up, look I'm all who caught said up. it, Hitler. All right. You know. <laughs> Well, yes, because from the past, uh, yes. he has a Twitter feed. Well, like, like, um, like, like everyone would agree, Hitler and Jesus would both agree. Uh, uh, do unto others, right, you know. Yes, it's, yeah. like, it's like some things are so true. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, like I couldn't agree more. But I think See, we all know problem. what Hitler would do to Jesus. <laughs> Hitler, he... <laughs> too soon. Too, too soon. soon. Too soon. Historically too soon. accurate. Right? Too soon. Listen, I'm trying Jesus. to give you jokes. Yes. <laughs> are they extreme? Contentious jokes. Yeah. Yes, they are. I, but I, but I, Jesus was it. also murdered. That's one of the main facts about Jesus. <laughs> if you just figured out now that Jesus might have been murdered, you missed the yeah. whole point of Jesus. Yeah. Spo- spo- spoiler alert. He dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That back. guy did not make it. There was a rabbit that rolled the rock away, and that's why we celebrate Easter. Oh. And he got out. Um, and uh, it was shaped like an egg. It was shaped like, yeah, it's an egg shaped Oh rock. my it God. Falls. Yeah. yeah. Easy and then the to East push. Islands. Um, gr- great Minds is, what do they call that? A murderer's row of, of is that right when you say oh, like shit, you have a I'm great? Hosting. Yeah. Oh God. So Great Minds is, uh, please it's, talk to us about this show. You guys a, have just made it. No, no, no. no. We finished Instagram it today. Yeah, yeah, we just yeah. wrapped. Hey, congratulations. Just wrapped. It was well, wonderful. Yeah, woo. Yes. Is that the phrase you say, like, a murderer's row, and it's like when it's a hit list of awesome people or something, right? Yeah, okay. So it was a murderer's row of I think of it guest originated stars. with a row of people who were good at murdering, good at murdering other people. And that's, but, makes sense. you know. Yeah. Like, a, like, like not in cells. They were just, a, there was just Slined a row. Up. Just like, like 
Murderers like to stand next to each other. I don't know if you know this stand. <laughs> it's just, I'm they, imagining like a bench at a basketball game, yeah. Yeah, but it's yeah. just Three murderers. With a knife. And it's like, do you think murderers like to stand next to each other because they can tell who else is a murderer? Or do you think there's a crazy thing that, where murderers have evolved to project a non-murderous uh, mm-hmm. pheromone so all murderers chain together? like a, They have a hydrophobic head and a hydrophilic tail. <laughs> like, 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 so, they, so, so they naturally chain together as yes. like an amino no acid. That makes sense. That's Perfect. what it is. That's what I'm talking about. No yeah. science on the weekends. That's what I was told. <laughs> or the no murderer is always like just recognizing the murder behind you and you think it's talking to you. Oh, yeah. oh there's yeah. the murder behind me? Yeah. So embarrassing. Where the hell did you pull that out of your... What? <laughs> hydrophilic hydrophobic? Hydrophilic hydrophobic... Uh, That's on the tip oh, of I, his I, tongue. I, 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 oh, cell I, I, membranes. Dan, it's not exactly rocket don't be science. Hydrophobic. <laughs> don't, don't take... Uh, they're impressed with me. For I, one second, people are impressed with me. I know. Me. Not, not she's impre- the science person, so... Just, just, just yeah. surpri- I, no, I wasn't impressed. I was surprised. <laughs> Final. <laughs> And you're like, that's not a surprise. It's like a squirrel it's a trapped dual in your chimney. phospholipid membrane <laughs> embedded with proteins. I love you, and that's why I poked your belly. <laughs> that's great. Uh, yeah, I got the key to his house. Okay, uh, small talk. Small talk. Go. Nice weather. weather. No, no, no. Uh, what? Small talk. Like, okay, so, like, like. <sighs> I'm really bad at, uh, at at just interacting with people, like uh, like just it's not we mischaracterize it as small talk. Like we have this thing where we go like, oh, there's small talk where you say these. Th- no one ever has a small talk conversation where you go, oh, it's nice weather, yeah, it's nice weather, and all this stuff. Like everyone is always trying as hard as they can to kind of connect. It's just that I think like some people like like have so, so, like sometimes sometimes you're just trying to like get away. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, it's you're, like you're biding your time until it's politically possible to get away smoothly. I'm always trying to do that when I sense that like I'm not going to be good in the conversation. Like, Fuck you. like, like. Do you, <laughs> do you regularly have conversations with people who you can sense are actually doing everything on paper right? Like they're they're being effusive. They're being complimentary. They're 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 being open. They're saying like I, I don't know. They're kind of technically saying things that are like like oh I like your jacket. I like your not to not to not to make it like all superficial. It's like they could. It's like like so are you often finding yourself going like yeah? But I don't. That doesn't set me up to say anything except for yes or no. And I feel weird. Like I have a script and I don't. I fucking hate this. I want oh, it, out. Does, it doesn't happen often. But I mean I've like built my career around avoiding those sorts of situations. How do you do it? You refuse great opportunities sometimes so that, <laughs> <laughs> so that you have a career that has some integrity. <laughs> hey, Jane, Jane, vaguely, what do you what what field are you in, just vaguely? Uh, I'm a research scientist. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, so I feel like you could avoid social interaction for a while. <laughs> I, 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 I've spent a lot of Reaches years avoiding talk. positions of like managerial responsibility. Sure. Or if I go to some sort of a, a like like an event, big quotes, um, just stand around being looking really uncomfortable, which is very easy. Like hang around in the corner. If someone approaches you, quickly go into a jargon-filled explanation of something so that they then feel uncomfortable and leave you alone. I, I have a lot of outs. That's that's a great way of dealing with that. I love that. <laughs> Option. I should. I should have paid attention. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I got this side. You get that side. <laughs> but your side got the great way of dealing with something. Yeah. God damn it. Well, Dan, are Sitting you over here with the, the baseball person? Are you an introvert or are you an introvert or an extrovert? I, Dan Harmon. I don't think. I don't see the world through that dichotomy. That's, we're okay. back to certainty. Well, I, first I, of all, I love life. that that got a round of applause from like four people. Just like that was what was they really like impressing them. They like callbacks. Yeah. <laughs> they don't. They don't like politics. They like callbacks. But I, I also like thinking about a population of people that are like their main oppressive <laughs> boxes are introvert and extrovert. That you just like you like just hit it's on true. them. Like they're just like ah, oh, we could give a fuck about this Hillary Clinton shit. Like race, it's next, true. transgender shit. Don't give a fuck about it. Introvert extrovert yeah Myers Briggs test yes yes I yes. hate the Myers so you Briggs would actually yes because 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 you they would prefer recognize. a bathroom that didn't have urinals then 
Uh, yes, I would like there to not be urine that wipes. That is awesome as fuck. Well. I think Stalls. that's a weird thing to do to people to make them pee next to each other. Or, or everything we do should be next to each drawers, other. We should, we should define it. We should, we should poop next to each other. We should like high five while we're pooping. <laughs> or we should get this pee thing separated. Well, you know, I... So, Talking about growing up in Los Angeles, one of the things I remember as a child is my dad dragging me to the bathroom at Dodger Stadium and having to pee in a fucking trough. There was a trough in the bathroom today. I almost said. washed my hands in it because they I also know. had urinals. And I, uh, yeah, they had See, urinals, yeah. and next to it was a different. They had two. Di- this is the first I bathroom. I almost remember. washed my hands. I almost in washed it. my hands in the, yeah. the stainless steel urinal. <laughs> oh, gay people? We were at a gay bar. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just, assuming that's not a gay thing. I don't, I don't know. know. No, no, it's not. No, no I think no. it's just a probably a weird no, code no. thing Trump. for that building. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how you have oh sex. The pee goes down, it comes and back it up, together. and then you're having sex with each other. That, that, so, that's the sexiest gesture to describe yeah. it ever. Pee up and down. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> would you, would you Google totally gay people? A wild... <laughs> Uh, wait, where were we? I, I, oh, no, pee troughs. But, okay, Introvert, no, but extrovert, here's the thing. Like, I think that's an important enough thing to say. Like, I think my demo, my audience, I don't want to speak for you, I think it is important to them. Maybe this makes us children. Maybe this makes us geniuses. Maybe it makes us wandering idiots that are, like, satisfied to be idiots. Maybe that makes us geniuses. Tech. Maybe that makes us the biggest idiots of all. But, like... I think we are really, really super caught up with the fucking fundamental line between do I need people uh, or do I actually resent them? Like, 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 like it's, it's something that has, per, you know, has particularly, we're, we don't own that. I have, I, like, like I, I, my, all of my formative experiences have, uh, like, they have to do with, like, this weird relationship between, oh, God, I hope everyone likes me, and, uh, oh, I'm meeting this person, and I don't know what to do when I meet them, and it's like, like, I need them so bad, and it's so explosively uncomfortable that it just, like, oh, uh, I just, like, like, the, the wiring goes through me in a different way, and it's like, 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 oh, uh, I'm trying to calculate my relationship with other people, and I'm trying to, but, but at the same time, my heart explodes with with need from other people and it's like that is like that's it's not to be taken lightly and i do think that people that feel that kind of intensely kind of assume you know this hillary versus bernie thing that is very important but but whether this is a selfish or luxurious or privileged like statement it's sort of like with what i'm going through that's sort of yeah, that's the kale salad like on the side is like is like who should run the country whoever's fucking running it they're gonna be uh, fucking neurotypical and they're gonna make my life a living hell I, I don't know, like, <laughs> like like they're 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 yeah. not gonna get me and no one and, and, and neither is 90 percent of everybody and i'm gonna always like w- spend my life like pushing up against plexiglass and going like hey, can anyone over there hear me and if you can hear me do you think i'm cool and if i say do you think i'm cool a little bit less will you think i'm cool so i'll fake it if you want me to fake it i'm gonna do it but i'm also committed to honesty because i know that's cool so i will halfway turn i'll give you a full hitchcock profile and say does anyone think i'm cool do you think i'm cool i fucked it up again god damn it i leaked chevy chase's voicemail i I, I, I did it but i was like like, oh who i'll turn my full back to you i'm a hermit psych did did you like the hermit thing ah like I, you wanting and needing and, and not wanting and not needing and like like I actually and also on the other side of it like like people feeling their needs and like walking into a room and being able to read all of their fucking like deficits and liabilities and, and assets and like it's just like you just can compile them in an instant and you just read their minds and and, and it's like oh how do I react to this piano roll of a conversation it's a struggle how do you alleviate that pain liquor I, I, I uh, not voting not voting <laughs> voting uh, it's a it's a, it's like easter it's like like oh who hid the eggs okay i, I like <laughs> drinking that's what that's the choice that's important like brown liquor white liquor yes i i didn't so first of all i yes. didn't understand any of that no i get you completely oh, I, I okay. no 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 i understand where you're where you're going from what I, all i meant by introvert and extrovert and I love that beautiful answer, was um, it's a batteries <laughs> thing. That's actually what I meant by it. Like the um, introverts, they need to charge their batteries themselves and extroverts charge their batteries with other people. I really think of us as machines. I mean, I'm, uh, 
very psycho. Intro- yeah. Yeah, no, I'm a very introverted person. Like, I, it's really easy for me to talk to people behind a podium or a microphone. And um, if you chatted to me in the green room while I was eating string cheese, which you did, it would be no problem. And you would assume that that was easy. But I'm very, I need to, like, spend a lot of time by myself. Same here. In order to fill up my Yeah, we're talking battery. more. But I don't, it's yeah. different from, you know, like, like, or the Larry Sanders character where it's like, oh, this is artifice. It's like, this is where we actually talk to each other. Not to say that we don't then go talk to each other backstage. But then we don't, we're workaholics and blah, blah, blah. Okay, continue. Yeah. No, that's all I meant. So, so I agree with you. There's total nuance in terms of social interactions. Oh, and, and I was just talking about like, hey, what fills you up so that you can go do your job? And oh, is, it, I mean, is it time by yourself? Or so, is it time with other people? I think so, it's uh, my cookie clicker game right now. Yeah, so time by yourself. That's what I'm so talking, by talking about, my friend. Yeah, and I think a lot of performers are actually people that really need a focused way of spending their energy. For me, it feels very comfortable to be behind a microphone because it feels very controlled. I have a problem with lack of control. And, um, so I've just gone through. We're this. weird machines. Like I've we're just, just we're. It's Battlestar Galactica is real. So I've, just, weird I've just gone through this weird transition, in, another transition in my life. Like I don't have another. Yeah, well, this one out. better be good. This one's good. <laughs> this one's. This one's. I'm sorry, but this one's much more positive, much more complete. Um, I mean, if you're about to tell us you went from vanilla to Rocky Road, <laughs> no, we're gonna from, be like, so what? I went from research scientist in a laboratory to the public face of a museum. <laughs> so, oh yeah, no, okay, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll so, stop beating that joke down. I'll stop beating that joke down. Let me down. elaborate. Okay. <laughs> so, I went from from uh, like what we call a bench rat. I mean, someone who just literally spent all their time at the research in in the research center working on things I couldn't tell anybody about. I did that for like 16 years. To being the, 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 the research scientist presenting the face of, of a museum. I have to lecture. I have to travel around the country. I have to do all this, uh, do blogs. I have to do videos and stuff. I'm an introvert. I've always thought of myself as an introvert. But I've, what I've discovered is I also really like to be a teacher. Not because I like being in front of people. Not because I really like lecturing. But because I like teaching people. I like watching the lights turn on in people's, eye, in people's eyes when they, that's, that's my nectar, right? I mean, that's the thing that actually makes it worthwhile. But after giving a lecture someplace, I will go back to my hotel room and I will curl up and I will cry because it was such a beastly experience for me to do it. But in the end, it was so important for the people that I did it for. But that, that, Spencer talks about like like like, like, bef- like before performing. Yeah, I like cry you, a lot. <laughs> and you, and well, you, you, like, you, you say you, you shut you, up about you, it. You puke, you puke before you like have to perform. Or something. Oh yeah. yeah, I get sick to my you stomach. Look great when you cry though. Yeah, it's like no. a but it, pretty but cry. It's, it's serene. But it's worth it. But if you but if you do something and you know you nailed it, why would you curl up and cry? It's this weird dynamic, and I think it, it permeates a lot of the stuff that we were talking about today. This idea of what really motivates you. You're motivated by the positive, right? That you're doing something good in the world, but you're also doing something to cover up something, some personal pain. Whether, you, whether it's shame or whether it's guilt or whether it's you know, something in your past that you're always trying to do. What's motivating you at a number of different levels? And for, for me, it's shame. I mean, I, I remember being a child and never being able to perform well enough to, to make people happy. What are you expressing when you're crying? When you go home to the, when you go to the hotel, and absolute, you're crying, like, absolute fatigue, uh-huh. but also just this overwhelming sense of, did I actually do well? Uh huh. Did I? Uh, everybody's telling oh, me it's that a, it's a loss of identity. Exactly. Yeah. Because you I, don't even know. I don't even know because it's so out of kilter with. This this compl- this worldview that I assigned to myself, and you have no recourse to integrity because you're like, oh, am I just a floating like fucking cloud of I hope everyone likes me, yeah. or learns from me, or whatever. Right, right. You, you, I, you, you, and if that's the case, wouldn't I function just as well in the Third Reich as I do here in this environment? And therefore, what am I? Do I? That have hasn't crossed my mind. Well, it definitely. should. You fucking Nazi. <laughs> I'm standing my ground. I'm not going to say I was kidding. <laughs> I'll be- it's a post Louis C.K. world. The comedy should be drier. I'm not going to crack and say I'm ex- kidding. Ex- except that you'll now find me curled up in a bedroom. Oh, no. In your, God damn it. In your house. Yeah. Oh, God. It's going to be my house. It's in your house. Uh, oh, God. You 
have the pillow. I'll be in en suite in your. Uh, <laughs> and then what if the pillowcases from the guest room get get mixed up with the with the master bedroom pillowcases, and your your tears of my uncertainty tears. somehow get into my pores like three weeks from now, and I don't even know why, but I'm having an extra girlfriend hitty dream. Ah! Okay, not not a funny callback. <laughs> Didn't, didn't I didn't like know the, that's where that was going. It went, no. it went all the way. Like you, you guys are like, well, there's there's dot connecting in the third act of a show, and then there's the wire, <laughs> where you just the and now it all makes sense. And uh, yeah, Dan, we thought your show was the wire. <laughs> We're not just tired and wanting to go home and watch Game of no. Thrones. All right, oh, well, shit. it's uh, getting about that time. Uh, Jane, oh. are you gonna watch Game of Thrones with uh, with Cody and I? I've never watched an episode of Game oh, of Thrones. Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't start now. Perfect this time to the... jump in. You'll no, know no. Who everybody is. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, just get in tonight. You won't miss a thing. No, no. Yo, straight up, there's this chick, and she's trying to not have a face. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll figure it out. It's intuitive. <laughs> is the short guy who's a good actor, is he still... Is he is he, is he? Is he a, is he's he's a, is he a good actor still relative alive. to all the people who are just the best shot? We he's don't a dragon know, and we'll never Are the dragons? I like dragons. No, he's a dragon now. He's a dragon. He just turned he into turned a dragon. He turned into one last episode. Uh, there's they'll two, get it in the recap. Don't worry about there, it. There, there's three dragons. One is castrated and uh, can't be burnt. And that yeah. dragon has taken over uh, uh, the wall. The, <laughs> the, the wall is south of uh, King's Landing and uh, is covered with an umbrella called uh, the Unsullied. Yep. Yeah. About it. And I think a major point just to remember is if there's a male character, and, and this does exist in a very gender dichotomy. So there's, if there's a male not character. A characters. Not a lot of trans characters. Trans characters, which is weird. Although I guess like Brienne of Tarth, maybe yeah. I don't know. My point yeah. is, uh, well, if there's a male character, on, she's definitely gender queer. Yeah, she's got Sweet. some shit so, going on, yeah. which okay. I cool. like. Yeah, um, I want to get on her shoulders and I want to go somewhere. <laughs> she could carry you easily. <laughs> right, Renly. Yeah, yeah. Well, just because she has a crush on you could be, you can be straight brother, and gender I mean, queer. Shit. Gender queer is not a sexual orientation. It is yeah, yeah, yeah. the way you present yourself. I love how the yeah, wild. We, we have to decouple those two things. It's, yeah, it's which is wild. what I was doing. But yeah. also, I love that like that was your limit. I like <laughs> watching what people's limits are. <laughs> oh. Two hours in, like, yeah. go fuck yourself. <laughs> she likes that other guy. <laughs> that that is the first time you brought up Game of Thrones. Yeah. Huh? Like, 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 don't uh, yeah. And and, yes. and and she's she's a lady, and I have no idea what was happening there. But she obviously was like, she no, wait a minute, up. don't tell me. I'm fucking anything other than a, the most awesome person in the world yeah. for uh, inter, uh, uh, consuming this material. Uh, it's got kind of like, like, well, I was got. Is it? Is it uh, what, what's his name? Uh, the uh, Baldy Baldy von Eunuch. Uh, Varys. He, 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 the spider. Didn't, the spider? He es- didn't he establish at one point that even before they involuntarily eunuched him, Unicized? he had he was kind of asexual. Hasn't he hinted at no. that? Honestly, Dan, that's a great point. It's not a good point, and you're being sarcastic. No, I... You're using lesbian no. sarcasm. Yeah, that, that is the face of lesbian sarcasm, to be fair. I've to heard about fair. it. My uh, mom warned me about now it. Now you got to taste it. I read some, like, backstory stuff on him. He was like... Was he mailed to someone in a box? Yes. We don't know what's going on. You know, remember when you got mailed that guy in the box and they just like, dropped oh, that? He's like, yeah. oh, here's the guy in the, the box. The, the, this mean, doesn't like, sound like a positive trans role model you're, to me. Well, what I was going to say is also, like, if you're watching a male character and they're on screen, like, some shit might happen, they might fight. You don't know. If you're watching a female character, some bad, some stuff's going to go down right Boy, that's quick. A really that's true. Tr- okay, well, we could exist. That's... Really? Like, so you're saying that two dudes in Game of Thrones can meet without one of them stabbing the other one in the gut? Well, they can. They can have like side conversations where, like, what are you getting? Are you coming to see these whores? <laughs> yeah, I am. Have you raped lately? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Tip of the cap to hey you, now, sir. Are we up here by this wall? Who are and these you guys? You don't watch Game of Thrones. She yeah. thinks it takes place in the twenties. <laughs> Boardwalk Empire. I know do that you, accent. Do you know on Game of Thrones, they're always like, they're like, what now? No, it's the war. You know how they always say that? They ah, there's like, giants yeah. beyond the wall. Yeah. And, 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 They're always like, Tammany Hall. Yeah, they sure. always say that. We, we, haven't had, about we, it. we haven't had the $5 plug from Jeff because he's not here, but that was worth $5 for the people who don't have the, the, the podcast. Thank that you. That was awesome. I don't know what you're talking Visual. about. Just <laughs> go with it. It was very visual. 
But I, I mean, I, it's it's where I'm going to assume that I'm like I, I I find myself like when I when I'm watching Game of Thrones, the limited extent to which I'm like scanning for. <laughs> Like, 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 uh, uh, female abuse. Like, like in terms of like, like how, like, like, like in terms of which characters have status. Like, I kind of feel like there's. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna throw out a word like equal because I think the world is kind of honestly primitive and so, and, and and like like it's like intentionally oh. not. Right, like, like, but but within that context, it seems like oh, geez, for a for a soap opera set in a world where. Uh, uh, everyone without a dick is weaker than everyone with a dick. That within that context, that there's a, a heck of a lot of like uh, 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 agency among the uh, 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 female uh, characters that you're watching them make choices and affect their. Past. Cersei has some Obviously, scenes where there's no stabbing. There are people in this show that have power on all sides. I'm loving me that little faceless Arya Stark. A girl has no name? Please. I know your name. But my point is... <laughs> Let's agree on one thing. That shit got boring. I had to... <laughs> it, it sagged. It sagged for no, a while. I will say that the moment where I stopped diligently watching this show was when Joffrey, like, uh, uh, fucked a woman Hold on. Crossbow. Plug your ears. Plug your ears. Plug your ears. This is seasons ago. I'm right. assuming based on the looks of all of you that you're caught, you're caught up. up. <laughs> Rape spoiler alert. Yeah. No, he, Most he, of them have watched he uses episode. a crossbow on a lady, uh-huh. and it's a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a, it's as if somebody bought a croissant in the morning. It's a very side of like the. There's no plot point to it. It's just. Uh, happening. You that. felt like like so did, did, were you a Sopranos fan? Uh, I'm trying to think of like other shows where. Do women get killed in shows? Yeah. Yeah. No. But, they but, do. Well, the decidedly random, like seemingly totally unattributed acts of totally random violence. Um, uh, uh, in my mind, because I'm not definitely a different perspective have no, like 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 I, I all i ever perceive is i go man part of what makes this show really great is that you never fucking know like literally peter dinklage could die in the next episode and they'd be he like dude tonight. we told you don't don't assume <laughs> I, I be, uh, that, that, that's alert. like a valuable thing in a show where we're like conditioned that that that's my that's my privileged like consumption of that frosting as I go all I'm perceiving is hey I don't know what's gonna happen next oh she got raped um and, and you're you're perceiving it from a different perspective where you're like you're well, yeah. you're, you're you're like I oh kinda, yeah that's the eighth rape okay yeah I kind of feel like women can be powerful without having to have a reason that they became powerful which was their rape um and that happens <laughs> a lot in that show where they're like we're gonna make sure this woman can be powerful somebody attack her um and I just think like ladies got Got that shit already, and right. uh, it statistically happens to a lot of us. So it ain't no entertainment. Wait, did, did, sir, uh, he could he could have cre- the, the 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 source material on which that series is based. That gentleman could have created a world in which, by coincidence, as well, if you can fart smoke that kills a guy, um, <laughs> he. He, he theoretically could have created a world where there, where, where women and men are not, where that there that 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 power shift does not exist. It's where just it, hard to watch. It's not even like I have like some huge political statement where I'm like sitting there going like this doesn't match my Hillary Clinton love. Like there's there's nothing to it. It's it's just hard to watch that stuff. I have to I have to like fast forward through it. It's just not fun to. It's it doesn't feel like. Oh, the stakes are really being ramped up now. I just don't want to look at... And also those actors. It's actually also that I feel for those actors who have to go through that, the gals who are like, that that's their job on that day and they have to be like, like there's a whole crew. You know, like you do this job enough and you know that there's like a whole crew and that like they got to set that morning. It was five o'clock in the morning. They're in like the Ukraine or whatever and they were like, okay, so it's like a closed set because like Santa's got to be nude. And it's like a whole... Let's do five yeah, it's just it really it stresses me out. There is a there is a distinct lack of uh, of dangling dong in the in that show, right? Like, well, also, like I love MPAA. to I love to look at penises on screen because I want to know what's going on. How are they attached? 
I don't. Okay, Where here's what she uh, forgets. Mostly, I, mostly crazy. Glitz. I was really blue, thrown. Yeah. You guys know. There's Double no, sided no, tape. If, here's what, if this is a spoiler, you. fuck you. You should be listen to the podcast. You're but welcome. like, uh, after uh, uh, what, what's his fuck? Uh, boring guy. Uh, 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 Kit Harrington comes back to life. Uh, um, uh, and the and, and and beardy pants like uh, uh, oh, beardy the, pants. The the, the 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 thought balloon over Dan Harmon's head. That guy, their character of the wildlings. A uh, big Popeye. Popeye oh, uh, orange, red, orange red, red beard. beard. When he when he like he goes like they think they think you're a god they think you they think you came back to life what do you think i've seen your dick nobody that is magic could have a dick like that that small and I, Co- cody like as fate would have it because of like trying to catch up and falling asleep and stuff we watched that scene twice and the second th- i was like i watched uh, and and he said that he's like oh, nobody could have a dick like that and, and i was like all right come on and, and and cody was like that's what you said last time i didn't remember because i was drunk i was like i i I just think that's funny. It's like that's the extent of like where where Game of Thrones is abrading my sexuality. <laughs> is that one barbarian said to some emo guy like, Rude "I think your dick is. I saw your dick and it's small." And I, and I'm like, "Take it easy, Game of Thrones. <laughs> not cool. <laughs> is, is there... We're not dick shaming. All right. I believe dragons are here. I I love those titties." I, Swords and the sorcery. Is there a Rhode Island equivalent in the Game of Thrones? <laughs> but let's Your not live in a like world a... where a man can just fucking like. Let's not use this genre as license to abuse. I think we agree on that. <laughs> if if I was uh, magic and could come back, I'd have any kind of dick I wanted, though. I mean, if I can't, could be killed. What is that? No, mean? you can't. That's not how it works. It's not Starman. He can't. Just... But you do. Same body. That's the whole point. That's the thing that offends. Me. It's like, it's like uh, if you had bypass surgery and the guys and the surgeons were like, his dick's small. It's like, not cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, in rape country, are you done raping, Mike? Uh, no, I'm behind a shift. All right, I'll help you later. And, 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 then, and then TV Guide complains. And I'm like, what's the world coming to? I'm, I'm joining your side is what I'm saying. Uh, all right, Game of Thrones, fuck it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's so, a. So yes, I'll watch this with you. <laughs> yes, yes. Will you please join us tonight? Sounds fun. I'll, 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 uh, I'll order pop chips. Is that, <laughs> is that how pop chips are made? Do you order them? Yes. Yeah, you order. No, you buy those in a store. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Wealth hasn't changed me. I know pop chips come from the store. <laughs> Judge me. I, I'm excited to see how wealth uh, functions. This will be fun. Oh, wealth functions fine, but, my friend. Dan, what's the what's the name of a store? What's uh 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 a uh, 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 better better buyer? <laughs> Nothing. Yep, that's a, that's a anyway, as, uh, as a gallon of, Ask me what a gallon of milk costs. Six power shards. <laughs> hey guys, Sklar Brothers here with Dan Van Kirk. Hey guys, Sklar Brothers here with Dan Van Kirk, and Hi, we've everybody. got Matt Walsh from Veep. He's from Veep. A, he is on Dumb People Town this week, and the riffing is fantastic. Uh, tune in, check it out, enjoy it. If you've ever asked yourself, how much Taco Bell can I get for a blowjob? We answer that question. Or how much a blowjob will get you in Taco, Taco Bell. Bell bu- oh, that's in Taco Bell, better. that's the yeah. answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well, you gotta have to. You're gonna have to tune in to find out. Yeah, on this week's dump. Surprising people. answer, too. By the way, very yes. surprising. Very surprising. Also, Christiane Amanpour. Kidding. She's not on the show. Hi, it's Dan Harmon. If you're like me, you're a big fan of Harmon Town, the podcast, uh, and you wish that you didn't have to wait uh, so long for it to drop after we record it. But here's the thing, Jeff Spencer, take it. You do not have to wait. You can. You can not only hear it right after it happens. You can watch it, too, in delicious, deluxe, high-definition multicam on your browser or your mobile phone. We do edit some stuff out sometimes. Like, I'll say something so incredibly racist uh, that we will catch it right before it drops as a podcast. Uh, But you get to watch Dan right before the sedition hearing when he talks shit about Trump again. Right. Uh, Sometimes we have really famous guests, but we just cut it out of the podcast entirely. Because it turns out they're pedophiles. Sometimes Spencer's never wearing a shirt most of the time. (laughs) 
<laughs> we put that in in post. Not to mention all the times you always hear people laughing at something that doesn't sound funny because someone is making a funny face or wearing a funny shirt. Yeah, for five bucks, you get to watch all that stuff. We, you, you can see the weirdos sitting down, like getting nervous on camera. There's, there's like one camera that's just right up someone's nose and they're always picking their nose and stuff like that. That's good. As if that wasn't enough, here's some political incentive. Um, we will match your new subscription to the Harmontown live feed uh, up until April 15th. The day of the big tax march um, will match it with a donation to the ACLU, which stands for a clue, which is what you should get. And I know, I know, you're, I know that's triggering your thought of going. Doesn't the ACLU now have eight hundred million dollars? Because, uh, uh, but here's the thing: ACLU money is like toilet paper money; uh, it never expires. But if political encouragement weren't enough, some apolitical encouragement is: if you sign up, you get access to a year and a half of our back catalog of video episodes, including a tour in Australia and Harmon Country, as well as audio downloads on the night of the record. On just minutes after it airs. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many times have you been w listening to Harmontown for free after Wednesday and thought, I would really want to know what that guy looks like or what she looks like, or I want to see exactly how uncomfortable the audience is when Adam Goldberg is on stage. Mm -hmm. Now, for $5 a month, you get to see it as well as hear it. You can almost taste the Harmontown. Go to harmontown.com slash live for your subscription to watch us as well as hear us. It really, really is a taste treat. <laughs> Dan gave me little 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 eyebrows. I like I, I was like, holy shit, that guy just hit the bullseye. <laughs> he has a taste treat. Feral audio.